promotion. I I was hoping you'd just keep going, dude. <laughs> I was hopeful. I probably should have. <laughs> <laughs> but we are live, dude. Oh my gosh, it's Phaser. Oh my god, it's Phaser. Phaser, Phaser yes, so I'm four minutes late. <laughs> have you ever met someone as rude as Phaser? I haven't. Um. Oh, you were saying? What? 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 Nani? He was saying how cool and fresh you are. Okay, thanks. Bye. Fresh, <laughs> fresh like a fish. Like a fillet of fish. A fillet of fish. You know that fillet of fish the other day was pretty legit. Okay, I'm gonna tell you that. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I used to like those when I was younger. I haven't had one in forever, but I used to eat them. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Remember, it's uh, fish season coming up. Is it? Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, because of Lent. God, I'm trying to. I'm trying to write the go live tweet, and the video that you retweeted is playing <laughs> right below it. So I'm stuck just watching it while I'm writing this tweet. It's just playing. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Jai Beavid. Huh. Well, you know, I I did the fun around thing while uh, like right before you mentioned it and I had to X out of it really quick but it ended up sending out the tweet anyway as to who my Valentine's going to be this year. Oh yeah, it does that automatically, I think. Uh, I'm not happy about this. <laughs> I I had a feeling it was going to be that. Why is it this? I don't know. Why is it this? Who where's the Valentine's person at? Where is he? He's not here. The one time He's upset right now. He pulled uh, Edelgard in Heroes. I love girl gamer genocide. Um. Oh. Okay. So remember when I said that the there he is the Bolin the the Bolin um alert. Remember how that was copyright claim? Yes. I found. I I did some digging and I found out why it is okay. okay so the audio of that that clip i don't know where it's from but the audio of that yeah appears at the very end of a song called overtime by big sean <laughs> which is like some kind of rap so, song yeah so it is actually sampled in that y yes that's but... it's fucking absurd <laughs> but is it I don't know. We're, I don't. I don't really. I've never seen a clip before your your, yeah, it, your Twitch I, channel. I, I think but... it's. I think it's from. I think it's an ESPN clip. Yeah, which it's is like, shocking. Why... Which is shocking which is... that Disney is the one not putting out. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but the the fact that that was sampled from a song, but why is it copyrighted for that, that song? song I and know not the original, but I don't. I don't know. You know, when you have two million to almost three million views, I guess you know you just you're just built differently. Then <laughs> it must be nice, you know. I can't have that. Hmm. Hi, Phaser. Stay fresh. Stay fresh. Hmm. So many Iron Mouse pops. So apparently, uh, I was just checking. Apparently, the first set of Switch games is in. I just need to go pick them up. Oh my gosh! Already? Yeah, and it's the wow. uh, it's the, it's the Pokemon bundle. So it's Ooh. Legends and Mystery Dungeon have, that have come in. Ooh. And then the other two, uh, were in transit from Ohio as of yesterday. 
I'm I'm very sorry. I, I, I know. Ohio. <laughs> I mean, it's a Xenoblade and Breath of the Wild pair, so you know who really cares. <laughs> Iron mouth pop, iron mouth pop, iron mouth pop, iron mouth pop, iron mouth pop. I will choke him. Oh yeah, him. I finished. I finished Legends game. last night. I finished the main game at least. Oh. Did 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 you say that in Discord? I feel like I remember. Yeah, I, did. I, I, said, I, I thought think I, I did. Saying that. It was late at night, and I responded. At least not in this Discord. <laughs> how uh, how would, oh, I guess how would you rate responded. it? Dude? Um, I'll probably give it. Probably an 8.5 out of 10. Oh my god. That's... Which is probably the probably the highest rated Pokemon game I would I would have since like at least Sun and Moon, if not like black and white. Damn. So Yeah, I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. Damn. I can't believe Doof still... I can't believe Doof what? is actually nice about a Pokemon game. What do, you, what do you mean? I'm like I'm like one of Pokemon's biggest fans ever. <laughs> that's a, that's your problem, dude. I know it is. <laughs> it is an actually big problem. I just muted myself um, really quick in Discord. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. People in overall, chat, how is Doof's audio? I think it does I just have. Sure it's a, all right. You know, it probably. I mean, if they do the comp set again, they could probably flesh it out more. Yeah. But it's definitely a huge improvement over like the wilds or yeah uh, the wilds and sword and shield like this is what the wilds and sword and shield should have been i'm so excited to play <laughs> i think i think it will be the first one that i go for <laughs> Ooh, a love quadrilateral oh, oh my god do love quadrilateral quad oh my god love quads exist I sure it does. I've never heard of one. I, I've only ever heard of triangles. Yeah, because Not after balls. after triangles, things get really fucky. I mean, you would know, too. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, we 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 stopped at a really good time um last week because the rest of this trial, I really love it. <laughs> mm. I really love the rest of this trial. Is it is it like insane or Um I wouldn't say it's like too too insane, but I I just kinda like how the direction things go. Hmm. Because it's also th some things that you probably won't expect. I'll just say it. I'll just uh hmm. leave it at that. So we're actually gonna find out that Garadeb was the murderer all along. Don't hmm. go silent on me. Hmm. 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 I think actually it was um um juror number one. Oh. Yeah. That's. I mean, he's, that's, that's he was fair play. Yeah, he was really sketchy in like the last case, so he's probably sketchy in this case too. Huh. <laughs> I, I should have gotten some water before we started. God damn it! Dude, oh. go get water. No, I, I'll i get water in a little bit. Oh, my God, Doof. Doof, I'm going to take a drink anyway. Okay, fine. I'll get some water then. I'll be right oh my back. God, Doof. <laughs> How is, um... Oh, my God. All four of you in a row. How is, uh... How is Doof's audio? Is it okay? Is it... Again, through, like, Great Ace Attorney, everything's got to be through the same source. It's a nightmare. Baser, I'm going to ban you. I know that's what you want. So I'm not going to give it to you. Checkmate. I love just hearing the random sound effects in Doof's mic. She's just off in the distance. It's really like listening to Doof in her natural habitat. Okay, quick, we gotta shut up. We can't talk about Doof anymore. We gotta shut up. Hi. Hi. Water is so... Water tastes kind of weird today. My audio is good? That's cool. Doof, we were not talking about you while you were gone. Oh, really? What if I just rewind the stream and, and Doof, go you, check? Doof, you can't do that. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, we started? Um, okay. I, what, I, uh, I what... accidentally scrolled it. Sorry. Right. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, what, what voice did I give this guy? Um... You were the one who prepped so long <laughs> for know. Rolly. I know. I know. But that was like a week ago. <laughs> um, he goes like, um, Ah, this case has nothing to do, Mr. and Mrs. Garadep. Believe me, a London Bobby is good for his word. I think that's it. I think that's yeah. <laughs> you see, sir, the windows on the top floor of the Garadep house are top hinge casements. Just <laughs> every time you say "sir," 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 <laughs> I should really just use that in my common lingo. <laughs> Today, sir, I finished Legends. <laughs> sir. <laughs> Obviously, if anything had been thrown out of, the w out of the window, we would have seen it. I did leave the scene to go and fetch help, but my trusty Roly was there to make sure nothing was disturbed. I didn't take my eye off the crime scene for one moment, Sa. Nothing strange reported on that front, Sa. Fucking Sa. 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 Sa, do. Sa. Well, this is quite startling. Top hinged casement windows. That detail was not in the police report, Constable. Ah, uh, yes, um, sorry about that. I must have been a little drowsy. Um, <laughs> Sa. Sa. You cannot excuse your sins with drowsiness every time, Constable. No, Sa. Um, sorry, but... What exactly is a top-hinged casement window? Rian, what the heck, sa? Are you stupid, sa? <laughs> yeah, you tell him, constable. <laughs> sa. <laughs> and you. You cannot excuse your ignorance with such trite remarks, my learned friend. Of course. Sorry. I found it, Mr. Narhudo. Cast your mind back to the windows in Mr. and Mrs. Garadeb's room. All right, I'll try. <laughs> is that is that our, our official flashback? Theme? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the window opens in order to allow air to circulate inside the house. But as it's a top-hinged casement window, it swings open up along the upper edge, you see. I didn't know that's what they were at, what those windows are actually called. Huh. I'm glad you rectified your ignorance. A casement window's most prominent feature is its stay. A metal bar which prevents the window from being opened beyond a certain amount. It... it prevents it opening? This is all news to me. Absolutely correct, Sa. In other words, if a book or knife would have been thrown through the open window... It would have hit the window. It would have clattered against the pane yeah. and fallen straight to the pane below, Sa. I have to end every sentence of Sa, like one of those pe uh, those uh, rock bottom people who have to go, but they I have to go, Sa, Sa. What? <laughs> you know in SpongeBob and the rock oh, bottom yeah, people? Yeah. They have to like, have every other word be, <laughs> <laughs> Now, can you mix the two of them together, dude? Yes, 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 I'm going to do it. <laughs> no. You see the problem, then. Good. Your education in Windows is complete. <laughs> there was never any possibility of either the book or the knife traveling 15 yards over the road. Doof, are you okay? <laughs> yes, sir. Uh. <laughs> that is, unless the window pane had been shattered. Something we've discounted already. Th that can't be... Did you see that, Rolly? The young Japanese Japanese man just collapsed in agony. Oh, Sa, yes, Sa, my Sa, darling Sa, I Sa saw it, Sa. I saw Sa, I saw Sa. sa. <laughs> Crumbled Sa before Sa me Sa. Oh, Rolly, I love the way you say Sa after every word. <laughs> You're so strong, so strong. Saw. <laughs> saw. Saw is the new I. I love it. How is this happening? 
Also, people on stream, does does the game occasionally like keep flashing to black like very briefly and then back? I keep I, um, I keep glancing over and I keep seeing it. I just want to make sure that that's not actually happening. I've seen it like two I, or three times. I haven't personally seen it, but I don't know. I guess I'm looking mostly at yours. Oh my god, Phaser. <laughs> Phaser? Oh my gosh. Now I gotta hear this. Mr. C owned a saw, and Mr. Soar owned a seesaw. Now, seesaw sawed Soar's seesaw before Soar saw C, which made Soar Soar. Had Soar seen seesaw before C sawed Soar's seesaw, seesaw would not have sawed Soar's seesaw. So seesaw. You know, you know what the biggest problem of that <laughs> of that of that copy pasta is? What? Who names their child Sore? Sora. What is wrong with you? <laughs> saw. Sa. Mr. C owned a saw, and Mr. Sore owned a seesaw. No seesaw made Sore's seesaw before Sore saw saw C, which made. Soar, soar, had soar, seen seesaw, so before seesaw, soar, seesaw, seesaw, so I can't do this, it's too much. <laughs> I can't do this, go and say it already. <laughs> oh, soar is the last name. Oh. Even then, who has soar as their last name? Who would do that? Who would have C as their last name? I need someone to Google on Wikipedia if there are famous people with that with those last names. I haven't even started the cross-examination yet, and already my argument's been destroyed. <laughs> Grotzel, if you could drag yourself upright again, the court awaits your cross-examination. My lord. Oh, good. Another desperate situation. Ask your last pathetic question, Ryun boy. Sa. Sa. I'll show you who's the real Sa today. Uh, I'll go ahead and press. We're going to find out about the old people. How can you say that for certain? A very good question, Sa. And the answer is this. It has the noble founder principles of the Force written on it as a reminder to us all policemen of our sworn duty. He showed us that before, didn't he? Did he? No, I can't say I remember. He did. To patrol the streets of London town and uphold the peace of the common man is what the job's all about. And that is why I can stand here today beside my long-suffering wife and tell you Bobby's good for his word. I swear, these two look like they're like 14. <laughs> yeah, I know, like, right? <laughs> how are they married? <laughs> they totally look like that. <laughs> While rubbing my tired eyes immediately, Sa. Oh, Rolly, you're so manly. Of course I am, my dear Patricia. Sa. Oh, Pat. Sa. Oh, Rolly. But still make love in uniform. Yes. No. Yes, Sa. None of this is what I meant. I don't <laughs> want to see you do that. <laughs> I meant, how can you say for certain that this case has nothing to do with Mr. and Mrs. Garadet? Ah, I see, Sa. You should have said so earlier, Sa. Yes, well, so could you answer the question? That was a waste of time, then. Absolutely, Sa. Our answer to the fullest of my ability, Sa. There's a surprising reason why Mr. and Mrs. Garrett's domestic dispute can't be related to this case. Do you want that, Phaser? We can make it happen. Gladly. What, what is that? What packet do you make? Oh, oh my gosh. I mean, and you know you, what? You you know if who you want to? You know who's gonna be the ultimate loser? The fact that there's a spectator in this voice <laughs> chat right now. <laughs> <laughs> Pour one out for Verb. <laughs> Pour one out. <laughs> Pour your saws out. <laughs> Before I get into that, Sa, uh, just one thing. Yes? 
I'd very much like you and all your countrymen to understand the great British institution of Scotland, Scotland Yard. So I hope you'll take back some tales of us London Bobbies and how we uphold our guiding principles. It's my favorite Tales of game. Tales of us London Bobbies. <laughs> I, I play it. I would play it too. Yeah, I mean... I'm saying Bandai and Namco if you want. I wasn't planning on going back just yet. I've only just arrived here. So to the end, sir, I'd be happy to lend you my warrant card for your per perusal. But I must warn you, you won't be able to get through without shedding a few tears, sir. Mm. Thank you. I'll try, sir. This, this, no, this would not be important at all to the case, sir. I just want you to have it, sir. Dude. What? I just noticed. <laughs> Look at Verb. Get her off me, too! <laughs> I mean, I hope about you, Verb. We are in a room. Well, you, I mean, tr it's true. It's true. This you, is Verb the... wasn't that specific, you know? This is the doof plus poof room, so really, <laughs> it is. you're encroaching it is. on us, Verb. <laughs> Get a room, Verb. <laughs> <laughs> Water already. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, I'm gonna check out this this thing, this thing, this thingamajig, the thingy, that dingaling. I love Rolly Stingaling. Item number one: A policeman will strive to preserve the peace within his allotted beat. Item number two: A patrolling officer is expected to walk 20 miles around this beat every day for the furtherance of community relations. Oh, what was the first one? That's principles of policing. Okay. A metropolitan uh, number one any crimes fall under the jurisdiction of the beat in which they are discovered number two when a crime is discovered on this beat a policeman must assist with initial investigations and help detectives <laughs> so just those two okay <laughs> officer B was walking his beat and the night he becomes <laughs> a bartender <laughs> thanks thanks Billy Doof <laughs> you're welcome thanks <laughs> I think I actually mentioned this on one of your streams that this this specific case actually reminded me of that song. Really? Yeah. <laughs> huh. Well, I mean, now now that you just like put that, just put those lines to the song. <laughs> I, it kind of makes sense. I know, right? <laughs> By which you mean they don't open fully? Is that correct? Yes, sir. Uh... They're just there to allow a bit of air through the house. You see? They're so they're restricted by how much they open. And therefore, anything thrown out of the window from inside the room would simply strike the pane and fall to the street directly below. For clarity, allow me to mark the map. Here is the location where objects would have fallen. Prove it. Yes, I'm directly opposite the scene of the crime, on the other side of the rather wide road. Yeah, how does Van Zykes know how windows work? Yeah. Does he yeah, have did one? He go, did he go to college for window education? <laughs> have you ever seen Van Zykes in a window in the same room? It's true, I have not. A friendly reminder, I... Van Zykes was astonished by how a uh, an omnibus <laughs> windows in things worked. I'm just saying. I'll remember this for when he is thrown out of a window and dies in case <laughs> four of the second game. Because <laughs> it would happen. No, it would. No. <laughs> would it have been so hard for somebody to mention his top hinged caseman thing before? Well, I have another question for you, Constable. And what would that be, sir? How do you even know? Why would you have any idea what sort of windows Mr. and Mrs. Garadib's house is furnished with? I have a neck, sir. Oh, well, sir. That's very simple, <laughs> sir. You see, I helped with the investigation yesterday, oh. sir. Ha ha. Ha ha. He's so dreamy. Ha ha. Excuse me. It's okay, Pat. Pat, it's okay. Ha ha. 
You can do that at home. Uh -huh. Do you have something to add, Mrs. B? Hmm? Sorry? You look, well, <coughs> delighted. Is there some particular reason for that? Oh, I just, I was just remembering, that's all. We really were so lucky. Lucky? What do you mean? Well, of course I feel terrible for the poor woman who was attacked. Don't misunderstand me, please. But we were just so lucky it didn't happen on Rolly's beat. It was so close, you see. Oh, I hadn't realized. Rolly's fucking dead again. Well, don't mind me, I just, I'm just trying <laughs> to die. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to get away from Patty. She's, 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 she's a nightmare. I can't say that, though. Straight to her face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, that street. Briar Road. That's the boundary between Rolly's beat and the next one. Isn't that right, my love? Um... um... Oh, babes. Oh, no, 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 shut up, bitch. <laughs> Constable Pete! <laughs> how dare you say that? <laughs> yeah, hey, I was under my breath. You're not supposed to hear that, sir. <laughs> huh? Um, uh, oh, yes. Uh, that's right. <laughs> that's the reason I was helping out with the interview and the occupants of the Garadip household yesterday. Friendly reminder, everyone, domestic violence is funny. Domestic violence is funny, sir. Their house is on my beat, you see, sa. Hmm. That really was cutting it close, then. Constable, I wonder if you could clarify something. If the Garadep household is on your beat, does that mean that the pavement next to it is, next to it is as well? Outside Mr. Garadep's house? Yes, ma'am. The pavement on the side of the road is by is part of my I, beat. Sa. I, I I wish I wish he would keep saying "sa" instead of "ma'am." <laughs> yes, ma'am, sa. Also, I'll show, I didn't mean to click. Hold on, hold on. I do you see what do you see what Verb's name is again? <laughs> Frank Sawit. <laughs> <sighs> That's a name I haven't heard in a long, long time. I've never heard of it in my life. Doof, that's Ace Attorney. Um, <laughs> I, f I forgot. Dude, that's that's the uh, that's the witness in the very first case of the game, uh, the very first case of the series. Oh, you think I remember that far back? Yeah. Remember how? Yeah, it's. How, it's a, he's how, a he's how such a random character. Yeah, but he's got the name Sawit. How oh can you forget gosh. that? I don't know. <laughs> that's like uh that's like uh isn't there a character named Red White? Yes, I remember that one. Yeah. I forgot what he was, but I remember that name. Oh yeah, he's the he's the guy with the pink suit. I forgot about him. So many interesting characters. Oh yeah, he's the um, he's the rich guy that looks like a fairy art parent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> huh. Um, I see. I was unaware of that. Just think, <laughs> if the woman had been attacked just on the other side of Briar Road, we would never have been able to go for that meal to celebrate our wedding anniversary. But. That's the life of a Bobby, after all. Extra. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, sometimes you stay in the blue, sir. <laughs> Extraordinary people in our Bobbies. Tirelessly working for the benefit of all Londoners, sir. Do you know what I think? I think it was the good Lord's way of rewarding my Roly for all his hard work. Don't you think so, my darling? That must be it, Pat, my love. That must be it. I think perhaps we should make sure we have that information officially on record. Leave it to me, Mr. Narhudo. I'll take care of it immediately. The pavement where the victim was found lies just outside Constable Beat's Beat, the border which runs down, runs down the middle of Briar Road.
And now it's my turn. I think. I think. I think. I don't remember. <clears throat> I'm so in love. But according to my notes here, the sun had gone down already and it was dark. Oh, but Rolly and I were strolling along, gazing at the night sky and looking for our lucky star. Sorry? The star that will guide us to eternal happiness. Can it guide you to answer the question? No, sir. <laughs> if a flaming book had cut across the sky in front of us, it would have lit up like the shooting star in the night sky. I really could use a wish right now, sir. <laughs> and what what would your wish be, Sa? Uh, I would wish that uh, that uh, uh, Mordecai and Twilight Sparkle would be happy together forever. Is that a couple? Yes. What? <laughs> have, you, have you not seen that meme? No. The meme where people ship. Mordecai and Twilight Sparkles, and they and they sing the song. Um, I wish that airplanes in the night sky would like shooting stars. What? Yeah, you've never seen this I've meme. Never oh my seen god! That. Oh my god! Someone, someone, link up this meme now. I will do it if if if, if someone beats me to it. I'm I'm just um, I'm just what's waiting. the what which was the original image because okay I think this one's the original image but people have like recreated it with better art. God damn it! I, hold on. Okay. Yeah. There we go. This this is the this is the original art of what created started the meme. I have never seen this image before. <laughs> I have never seen this. <laughs> huh. Yes, this is a meme. I'm slightly upset that the Mordecai is really well drawn, and then there's <laughs> Twilight Sparkle. People, people have uh, have remade the art in like better, like, God damn it! I don't huh. want to freaking download. I want to copy it. But I, uh, you know, if you just if you just Google Twilight Sparkle Mordecai and that. Yeah, but you can see more of it, I guess. But yeah, it's a thing. It's a thing that exists. I gotta, I gotta look at this. I, wow. I, uh, I did not know this was a thing. I think this one right here that I'm gonna link is my favorite one out of them. <laughs> Just because I'll. F it reached the character limit of 500? Um, nope, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> huh. I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this information now. Don't, in, in my don't, life. don't, 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 don't click my link, okay? <laughs> Do, are are you linking? Are you linking viruses? Not purposely. To. Dude, you were the virus all along. I I people have told me that before. What is this phaser? No, I can't. I cannot let that player. I'm gonna get DMCA. Oh my god. What? Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why is this a thing? Okay, there we go. I re-uploaded it into Discord and resent it. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cool. Look at the tiny Mordecai. <laughs> Oof. Oh, it's really good. I know. <laughs> Why is this a thing? <laughs> I don't know. Some person in deviant art in like, well, that's I mean that's the early two thousand right there. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, give me give me one sec.
We're all going for hell for this. Just let you know. And when you're in hell, you can watch the YouTube channel, We're in Hell. Hashtag not sponsored. Gosh, I can't believe Poof is freaking dead. I mean, I can. Oh, okay, me too. <laughs> it was a matter of time. I'm glad it was now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And if I'd seen a shooting star, I would have made a wish upon it. This whole this whole dialogue is ruined for me now. Uh, you're welcome. Thanks. I guess. <laughs> Let Roly be an inspector. I would have said three times at least. Uh, of course, what was the, with the smog and everything, we couldn't actually see any stars. Mm, in short, are you trying to say that neither a book nor a knife crossed the sky before you? Yes, sir, that's correct, sir. As sure as the night sky in the London is starless, sir. Hmm, it certainly seems like they're telling the truth. And then we saw the poor woman fall to the ground, so we ran straight over to help her. Just gotta make sure nothing was disturbed. Okay, we'll press that one. I gotta find out everything. I need to milk as much dialogue out of Roly Beat as I can. <laughs> yes, you said that you went to a nearby police box to fetch another officer, is that right? Yes, milk me, sir. Huh. How? <laughs> Rolly beat milk. Don't think too hard about it, sir. I'm thinking really hard about <laughs> it, sir. <laughs> Mordion, as our residential milk expert, <laughs> how do you feel? That's right, yes. If it had been on Rolly's beat, I would have known exactly where I was going, of course. Okay, but have you ever thought about Pat Beat Milk, sir? <laughs> Don't feel bad, my love. You can't be expected to know the location of every police box and every beat. Now I'm not thinking too hard. <laughs> <laughs> So Rolly told me the way, only I sort of got lo a little lost on the way. God, I'm such a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Patricia, my darling, that's why I love you. Your terrible sense of direction is bewitching to me. <laughs> sir. Oh, Pat, sir. Oh, Rolly, sir. I'll take love in uniform, sir. <laughs> I'll give you all the milk you want, sir. You can have all my milk, too. <laughs> we were all a mistake, yes. Yes, we are. <laughs> huh. <laughs> no, please. We are in a room. We've been through this already. <laughs> it's called Doofless Poo for a reason. <laughs> so I suppose I was gone for about 15 minutes. But like I said, my Roly was at the scene the whole time, making sure nothing was disturbed. I was off duty the time, of course, but a true Bobby is never really off duty, sir. Oh my god. I uh, will press that one. Nothing to report. That's correct, sir. I had my eyes wide open the entire time. Never looked away for a second, sir. I don't believe it. I don't believe that. Why? Is it because I'm always falling asleep, sir? Look at his eyes. I'm only sleepy when I'm not on my beat, sir. That's not true, but let's pretend it is, sir. <laughs> no one else approached the scene, and nothing else was removed, for, was removed from it. I can swear to that on my yard's honor, sir. Really? That seems a little strange. <laughs> Beg your pardon, sir? Strange, sir? 
Seems altogether regular to me, sir. This burnt copy of the Lion's Pride was originally in the Garadip household. So the question remains, how did it find its way into the hand, hand of the victim? Can you shed any light on that, seeing as you were seeing as you were at the scene of the crime the entire time? Um... Ah, aha! Could be different copies, sir. Huh? One that just happened to be burnt as well, sir. Huh? Even if that were possible, why would the victim have been gripping a book like that in her hand? As we can see from this photographic print, she had a bag over her shoulder. Look at this photograph, sir. <laughs> Thanks, Constable. <laughs> well, sir, that book was in the lady's hand from the moment we arrived at the scene, sir. Nickel Rolly. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Your kids would hate them, sir. <laughs> Is that so? Yes, sir. No one likes Nickelback, sir. Except I kind of do. Maybe some songs. Greg's just in the back. Germany still no nickel back here, but you'll you'll hate him too. Don't worry. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, <laughs> tiny tiny Gregson is in here. Oh, where's hold on? I gotta I gotta oh. I gotta put Gregson back in. We I need, had... we need ta we need tiny Gregson at every Isotony stream now. I, I just want you to think. I loaded in like I don't even know like ten Gregsons in that stream last week and then I, I replay they're all through the same image file or image oh, source no. and I replaced that image source with a fire emblem map so now there are like ten giant fire emblem maps loaded <laughs> into, into where Gregson should be. I gotta find Gregson now. Where is tiny Gregson? Um that's the wrong Gregson. Oh, let's see. Which Gregson was it? I have the Gregson emote, but I don't think I want the Gregson emote. Alright, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I was telling Pax earlier today that this... this uh, oh my god. <laughs> The stream will probably only take about like two, two and a half hours. It'll probably take three now. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just only expected to be honest. <laughs> There's something about the statement that's not sitting right with me. The two mysteries of how that knife ended up in her back and how that book ended up in her hand. There must be some common thread between them. Um, can I ask you something? Please, Mr. Lawyer, sir. Oh, um, yes, of course. What is it? You're... you're doubting us, aren't you? I can tell. What? I... I wasn't really. I mean, what's she doing? Please, just because I'm a woman, it doesn't make my testimony any less valuable. You might just see me as the wife of a poli... Pow pow! Of a policeman, but I'm a woman... Pow pow. On oh, my word, I am. This music, though. Pow pow. <laughs> I, I really don't remember ever suggesting that I doubted you. No excuses. I don't want to hear it. My voice ah, will be heard. I'll ah, choke my no, husband for it. Please. I'm going to die. Help. Ah. My, my neck. Ah. 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 My lord, you'll let me speak, won't you? Please, just let her speak, please! <laughs> yes, Mrs. Beat. I will allow you to supplement your testimony if you so desire. Sometimes the path of least resistance is the sage one. That was a very loud mutter. I heard that! Pat, I told you to only do that in the bedroom. That's the only. That's the only way you can tug the milk out of him. That's true. <laughs> that Japanese man thinks a policeman's wife's word counts for nothing, does he? Well, watch out, sir. 
Pow pow. I might let you get away with something like that. Pow pow. But my Rolly won't. Pow pow. <laughs> Duly noted, Mrs. Beat. Please, I humbly ask you to continue. What could she possibly be about to say, I wonder? I know what I saw. My eyes never let me down. I sense the direction's a little off sometimes, though. Just a little off. <clears throat> Mrs. B, nobody is questioning what you've told us. Are you really, sir? <laughs> pow, pow. <laughs> I saw it. I did. Pow, pow. That evening, I saw it clearly. Pow, pow. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> pow, pow. That little Eastern man with the whiskers and the funny curve. Pow, pow. Curve back, slinking away from the scene. Pow, pow. Huh. And I know what I didn't see as well. <laughs> ah, please, no! I, I didn't see any flaming books or knives flying through the sky. I just saw the death of my husband. I'm getting a concussion. <laughs> All very clear. You... You also mentioned something about having a poor sense of direction. Oh, yes, well... That's a little embarrassing, really. I'm always ending up at the wrong place when I've made arrangements to meet Rolly. He gets ever so cross. Oh, don't got it. Pat, why do you do this to me? <laughs> why am I with this? Why am I with her? Pat, we need a fair divorce. <laughs> Constable Beat, is there a problem? Wait, pack, pack, check Discord. People want you to check Discord. Check Discord? What did yeah, you... I don't know why. What did you do in Discord? Where? Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I'm buying a Steam Deck. I, I already want to buy a Steam Deck. Now how... I want to buy a Steam can... Deck even more. Can someone explain to me how Steam Deck can't play Persona 4 Golden? But can play both Garfield cards. <laughs> I know, right? It's Gar so weird. I, I, I cannot believe I'm about to say these words. Garfield Kart is a more graphically intense game than Persona 4 Golden. How is this possible? I hate this. Oh my gosh. Also, uh, Doof, do, have you seen Burb's name again? Resav. Resav. <laughs> no, Resav is the next game, though. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, 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 no, sir. Uh, no problem, sir. How much, how much is a Steam Deck? This is gonna be like three hundred dollars or something. So it's so it's worth paying three hundred dollars just to play Garfield Card on the go. Is, is that what I'm hearing? Yeah, yeah. I win it, man. I you know, actually, I don't know. Steam Deck. How much? Actually, I don't know how much. I thought it was three hundred, but it could be more or less. Oh, I think there hardware. Aren't there like two or three different versions? Sizes. There's like different sizes, isn't there? Look, I know I have a Switch if I want Garfield Kart in the go, but really, I the Switch will probably melt trying oh. to play Garfield Kart on the go. Oh, no, it's, it's actually so more than that. It's so graphically intense. It's $400 for 64 gigabytes, 529 for 20, 256 gigabytes, and 649 for 512 gigabytes. Man, Garfield Kart is like 100 gigs by itself. Fuck. Man, I do want this, but it's like really expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I I'll you... probably get it someday, though. Did your wife's remark just now bring something to mind, perhaps? Oh, um, uh, well, in a way, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> I, I was just remembering the same thing happened that evening, is all. Hmm. Hmm. You mean Mrs. Beat lost her way on the night of the, on the, night of the incident? 
Well, you see, I sent her off to find a police box in the next beat over for mine, sir. But she it was gone a fair bit longer than what I was expecting, sir. I thought she'd be back inside 10 minutes, but my darling was gone a good 15, sir. Hmm. Oh, Rolly, you're such a tease. I know I am. <laughs> sir. But the reason I was gone, I was so long, is because of the bouquet, silly. The bouquet, sir? Sorry, what bouquet are you talking about? Oh, it was a present for our wedding anniversary. Really so romantic. He saved up for it with farthings and, and pennies he found in the gutter while doing his rounds. Yes, how romantic. I'd forgotten all about it until just now. Had you, my darling? Ah, uh, uh, hmm, ah. Uh, oh, yes, sir. I really want a divorce. The flowers made me, uh, gave me an allergic reaction. But that was just, uh, between us, sir. I told you not to talk about it, sir. <laughs> no talking about anyone else, darling, sir. You have to prom promise us. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Thanks, too. <laughs> really? Oh. What was that all about? Constable Beat looked very obviously troubled during that exchange. I'm afraid I can't offer any useful insight, Mr. Narhudo. But I'm quite sure of one thing. We have to ask Mrs. Beat about the bouquet. Mrs. Beat, this bouquet you just mentioned. I'd like you to add details about it to your testimony, please. Oh, really? Yes, I'd love to. Mm, these people get fucking bouquets. No one gives me bouquets. <laughs> What happened was, I dropped my bouquet and ended up losing my way for a while. You mean you dropped the bouquet at the scene of the crime? Yes, that's right. Oh, I was so upset. When we ran over and saw it was a woman with a knife in her back. I was so shocked, I dropped the bouquet Rolly gave me. It was in a dark spot where the street lights weren't casting any light, so I didn't notice at first. And then... You went to the police box to report it to the policeman whose beat it was on. Yes, and I came back to the scene together with the other constable, you see. That's when I spotted my bouquet again, but the funny thing was when I went to pick it up. It was nowhere near the victim's body at all. In case you need reminding, Miss Beat, the victim is not deceased. I was all flustered for, the, for a moment before I heard a voice calling me from the other side of the road. Your husband, presumably. That's right. Silly me, I've gone over to the wrong side of the street. Although, I'm going to blame the bouquet this time. I can't think how we got there. I really can't. Ha! <laughs> oh my god, Verb did change his name to Sonic the Hedgehog. I already said that. I, I, thought, I, think his, I thought his name was still Resolve when you said that line. <laughs> Fraser is like, guess what I'll have for dinner? Is it sardines? Is it salsa? Who? Um. Uh, uh. Is it um? Chili dogs. You know, I kind of want some chili dogs. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, my god! Yeah, chili dogs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, chili dogs yeah. Fish and chips. Yeah. Oh my gosh! They look exactly like Gregson's. Wait, is it, oh, did he post it? Oh, yeah, he, he posted it. Oh my god, that is the that is identical. Okay, if it's infinite, let us know, okay? <laughs> even even the little rapper is the same. <laughs> it's the exact same. <laughs> Phaser, I would like to congratulate you on becoming a racist. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Give it up for Phaser! Let's go! Fucking taxes and fucking thing is. You, you guys don't know him, you'll fucking hate him. <laughs> <laughs> hmm.
curious indeed. Isn't it? But the worst of it is, I forgot to pick the bouquet up again when we left the scene. That beautiful rose Roly bought me, with that change from the gutter he spent so long collecting. My bouquet. Do you perhaps mean this sorry, solitary rose? Oh! Oh! Yes, yes, that's it! That smoke uh -huh. Roly bought me for our anniversary. Uh -huh. With old bits of change he found in the gutter, I'll kill my husband to get my husband's bouquet back. It was like 50 cents, okay? Please. <laughs> That's a lot of gutter change, hus hus hubby. Sa. Sa. Maybe just call it a rose. Tell us, Lord Van Dykes, where did you come by the flower? According to the report by the police officer in charge of the crime scene investigation, it was found on the edge of the pavement, in front of the Garadub household. In front of the Garadub's house? I... Do you know how much I hate this music? <laughs> Every time! Not as much as I hate Super Mario Sunshine. <laughs> Super Mario, I, Super Mario Sunshine. I don't, I don't really hate Super Mario Sunshine that much. It's just like, it's just the least good 3D Mario game. You're the least good 3D Mario game. It's true, I am. Uh, you know, that's that's fair. It's acceptable. A round of applause for Do. <laughs> I've accepted it. Accepted it. <laughs> Although it wasn't noticed until the morning. As I lay where the street lamps cast no light. It was believed to be of no relevance to the case, since it was found on the opposite side of the thoroughfare. Oh, thank you, sir, thank you. Could I have it back now, please? Hmm. No, uh, I think for good measure, this rose should be added to the court record as evidence. Oh. A present for Patricia Beat from her husband, Rolly. The shock of seeing the stab victim caused Mrs. Beat to drop the rose where she stood. But it's a symbol of our love. Ah. I want it back after the trial. Do you hear me? I want it back. I'll kill my love for my love. Ah, please, just give it back to her. Good, good, good grief. Rest, rest assured that I shall do my very best not to forget Mrs. Beat. I shall do my best. Do my best. Do it every day. What do you mean? 64 is freaking amazing. It, it's aged so well. Even more, more, aged well, uh, a lot better than Sunshine did. Are you a monster? What do you mean? Think of the camera in 64. I don't know. It's never, never troubled me any. Just get good, forehead. You know, it's fair. <laughs> I do agree. The DS, DS 64, better than 64. Some people would disagree on that. I'll fight them. <laughs> at least on like the if you play the DS one on like the 3DS, you can at least use the um the um not the the joystick. 64 DS is 18, 18? years old. <laughs> is it really? Oh, oh my no. God. <laughs> oh my god. The, the least good 3D Mario game is Mario Clash for the Virtual Boy. <laughs> I don't even know what Mario Clash is. I love Crush Mario Clash. Clash. Is it is it like Clash of Clans? Is it like Clash of Clans? <laughs> oh, it's uh, it's the Mario Bros. Arcade, but in Virtual Boy. Okay. Oh, yeah, I know which one you mean now. Okay, is that the one with like? It has multiple layers on it, right? That you throw, you like throw stuff back to the background. Is that is that Mario Clash? That is okay. I've never actually seen Mario. Excuse me, I've never actually seen Mario Clash played. I've only ever seen pictures. One day, one day, I will experience a Virtual Boy. Just so I can hate myself more. Make sure it's Wario, and then you actually won't hate yourself. <laughs> um, I, I agree, Meadow. I agree. Is this, uh... Oh, we already went through this one. Whoops. 
I, I, I need I need to I need to press through. So please don't skip my dialogue dialogue saw. It's very entertaining saw. Give me the fastest saw. Sa 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 The whole idea of an invisible attacker has been troubling me all along, but I believe I'm starting to get a picture of what really happened here now. The fourth book that had no business being at the scene of the crime made me sure that Mrs. Garadeb was hiding something from us. But it's becoming increasingly clear that someone else has been hiding something from us as well. I think I may already be armed with everything I need to strike a decisive blow here. This time, it's going to expose the whole truth about this mysterious affair. Um, I need the... That one. Uh, that one. And hmm. I want... This. Objection. What did Verve do? Oh my god, Verve. <laughs> so, how, I, how would you sing that? Sa Sapa Ross. Feels like I'm calling Sephiroth a sop. Sopara. I also just love looking at. The, we have a mod log in uh, in the Discord that, for the most part, keeps track of uh, nickname changes, and it's just flooded. <laughs> it's just flooded with verb right oh now. <laughs> I love it. I like mod logs. I do too. Yeah. It's always pretty cool. It's always my favorite thing to go look in the mod log and I just see that Doof has deleted a message. Oh shoots, what I what I delete? I don't know. I you deleted something today, I think. What what was it? It's um... it's always once like I don't know, something in general. <laughs> at at one oh five in the morning. <laughs> was it actually? I according to, to, oh, the, to okay, the bot. Okay, okay, okay. I know what it was. Okay, so I took a screenshot, but I it wasn't a good screenshot, so I deleted and replaced with a better screenshot. Okay, that that that's what it was. Sure, I think so at least. <laughs> you claim, Constable B, there was nothing to report in the fifteen or so minutes you were guarding the scene, but that cannot be. Um, uh, you, uh, Rion, are you sure? <laughs> Sa? What? What do you mean to say? In your testimony just now, Mrs. Beat, you explained to the court that when you arrived back at the scene of the crime with the policeman assigned to that beat, the bouquet you would drop at the victim's side was no longer anywhere nearby. Objection! Well. Yes, on the opposite side of Briar Road to where the victim was attacked. But considering the size of that meager bouquet, if a single sorry bloom can be so described. No doubt, it was blown in a wind across the street, back into the gutter where it belongs. Meager? Objection. But if that were the case... Why did Constable Beat not testify to the fact? Ugh. Rattle me bones. No one else approached the scene and nothing was removed from it. Constable Beat swore t to that on Scotland Yard's honor. But the bouquet belonged to me. It has nothing to do with the case. That's, that's why Rolly didn't mention it, I'm sure. No, because sadly, it's not only your bouquet we're talking about here. More than one thing in this case is mysteriously the wrong way round. What are you talking about? Think about it. Besides Mrs. Beat's bouquet, there's Mr. Garadeb's book. Mr. Garadeb's copy of the Lion's Pride, which was thrown out of, thrown out of the window by his wife would have struck the pane of the casement window and landed here on the west side of the street. And yet... It was actually found here, on the opposite side of the road, in the victim's hand. 
Meanwhile, according to the testimony we've heard, Mrs. Beat's bouquet should have been dropped here at the scene of the crime on the east side of the street. But in fact, it was actually found here on the opposite side of the road in front of Mr. and Mrs. Garadip's house. There's no logical explanation for those things. Unless somebody deliberately moved them. What if this crime took place on opposite day? <laughs> well, then we're all fucked. <laughs> Did opposite, the opposite day didn't exist until, nine, until 2000 when a SpongeBob, the SpongeBob invented episode, it. SpongeBob yeah. <laughs> That is honestly the only time I've ever heard of opposite day was from that SpongeBob episode. <laughs> I've never heard it in anything else. <laughs> what are you trying to say? The way you're talking, it sounds like you think my Rolly's done something wrong. Please, man, please. Uh, don't you listen to a word that scrawny lawyer says. With, with uh, wittering on about books and bouquets. Why should we care? Snip picking, that's what it is. Oh, good. Mrs. Garadeb's come around. I'll come around and smack you. I'll pour some tea on your crotch. Yeah, you'll like that, won't you? <laughs> you might call... I'm sure Rolly will like it, too. I, l I like... Mi <laughs> I like mixing my tea with his milk. You might call it nitpicking, Mrs. Garadeb. <laughs> I just got it. <laughs> Kazuma Asagi. Oh, my God, Burb. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, as asagio cheese. Oh, that I love work. asagio cheese. Asagio. Asagio. <laughs> eh. Kazama. <laughs> but deliberately meddling with the scene of the crime is a criminal offense. It's called, um... Forgery. Tampering. Mr. Narhudo. Oh, yeah, that too. But the person responsible for this tampering cannot admit to it. For a very subtle but compelling reason. Objection. Mm, tampering. You've barely heard the term before. Tell us, my learned friend. Who would possibly have had cause to carry out such an elaborate deception? Yes, there is someone who tampered with the scene of the crime that evening. All the evidence and all the testimony points to that one particular person. <gasps> Council, I must demand that you substantiate this conjecture. Who Time are you is responsible for tampering with the scene of the crime. Time for the deciding thing in Danganronpa. We have to decide who the culprit is. I think it's Sozeki Natsume. Just so yes. I can get this man yeah. out of my life. He's kind of like Kokichi if you think about it. Oh my god, he is. <laughs> it's the exact same voice. Nee -hee -hee. I hate you. Nee -hee -hee. It's I... okay. If we if if we ever stream Dangan Rampa three together, I'll make sure to voice Kokichi for you. <laughs> Doof, I think that will be a Oh my god. Oh my god, it's Jinx. Jinx! Fuck you, Jinx. <laughs> Icicle! Icicle! By god, it was turn based Twednesday. <laughs> Dude, I hope you know if we ever do a DRV3 stream, it's just going to be you streaming it. <laughs> okay, but what about DR2 stream? I'll play DR2. I'm not getting anywhere near v V3 again. I will, and you know, Mordion, Mordion's about to come in here and be like, oh, V3 is the best game. And you know when, Mordion? I... Nah, 2 is the best game. But I, I agree. Think I, I've come around on V3 of being not as bad as I thought it, as I thought it was originally. God, you're the worst. <laughs> Jinx! I... Loser. Loser. Thank you, Jinx. Fuck you. How was, how was turn-based Wednesday? I'm about to end a whole man's career. They're 23 and 21? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Sorry, I just they now saw the age. That. They look half that. <laughs> like. 
Is and this like, a, is this a, how how old is Olive Green now? I I don't know about you, but like, I feel like Patty looks young, but Patty looks older than Rolly. <laughs> Huh. Anyway. Sa. Llama. Hi, Llama. Obviously, there's only one person it could have been. Constable Roly Beat. It was you. What? Huh? Policeman. Remember Scotland Yard? What nonsense. Why would my Roly do something like that? There's no Policeman one never get punished. There's no one straighter than my husband. No Bobby works more tirelessly for the people of London. Trust me. Yeah, I'm I, very straight. I know how straight this man is. <laughs> Mrs. Beat. You said in your testimony that your husband asked you to go to a nearby police box to fetch the officer on duty. The 15 minutes that you were absent from the scene is the only opportunity anyone had to tamper with it. You're making it up. It's all nonsense. It's all lies. Pow pow. What about that Japanese man with the whiskers? Pow pow. I bet it was him. He did it. Pow pow. Yeah, he's very he's a very cat-like person. <laughs> Speaking of cats, pow pow. Pow pow. If that was true, Constable Beat would would have seen him do it. Oh. Pow, pow. And forgive me for pointing it out, but when you dropped your bouquet, Mrs. B, it was after the defendant had fled the scene. Pow, pow. Uh, well, the well. Pow, pow. Objection. Whoa. First, you make accusations about the landlord and his wife, and now you incriminate a policeman as well. But your accusations lack one very important thing. A pow-pow. <laughs> A pow-pow. You claim the crime scene was tampered with. But there is only one reason anyone would commit such a reckless crime. To hide something. That's right. He's right. Pow-pow. But my husband and I just happened to be there. Pow-pow. That's all. So why would we have anything... Pow-pow. ...to hide? It doesn't make sense. Pow-pow. You've offered no motive for this alleged tampering. And until you do, your accusations are nothing but empty threats. Constable Beat had a very good reason for wanting to tamper with the scene of the crime. And that's the key to this entire affair. Miss Narhudo, have you... have you managed to solve this mystery? Consul, you made a very serious accusation against the London police officer. If you were mistaken, I'm sure I need not point out that your reputation as a lawyer will be irre 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 oh my God, irrevocably damaged. I can't say that word in this accent. <laughs> With a stark warning in mind, you will now explain to the court the motive for this alleged tamper. Yes, my lord. Constable Beat's motive for tampering with the crime scene was to hide. Where the book fell. Where the book fell. Yes. He loves lions. I love... Who doesn't love lions? That's true. What do you need saving for, Llama? What's what's going on? Where the book fell. Where the victim fell to the ground. That is what this Bobby had to cover up. At all costs. What? Where the vic... Bow, bow. Where the victim fell? You... You mean... Bow, bow. Where she was attacked? What are you talking about? We told you at the very start, didn't we? Ah! On, on the pavement of Briar Road, we saw it happen, remember? Remember, Rolly? I know you're being choked out, but don't you remember? Yes, I remember! Please, just stop! <laughs> I just heard my level 99 grind again. Oh my god, Llama, why? What is... The <laughs> I I promise... I promise after the stream is done or or uh, after we're done this this case I will go into the mod log and I will I will screenshot every single <laughs> name change <laughs> that this man has had I will make a compilation It was right here as if anyone didn't already know 
that's certainly what everybody's been led to believe. But in fact, that isn't where the victim was stabbed at all. What? What? How did she let go of him that quickly? <laughs> I'm beginning to wonder where this tumultuous trial will end, Consul. If that's your assertion, then the court is dying to know, my Nipponese friend. Where are you proposing that the crime actually took place that evening? Ooh. Hmm. Over here. Take that. It's right there. It's right there. But what that's on the opposite side of the road. I I don't understand. And on the evening in question, Mr. Garadeb's book fell directly down from the open window above. And your bouquet, Mrs. Beat, never moved at all. What did move was the scene of the crime itself. Good, good gracious! Objection! Llama, I wish I, like, you know, I've learned it's not patience. You're just insane. I don't know how you do it. I would have given up all hope after losing the initial save. I mean, what is it, Llama? Is it determination? Have you been filled with determination? Mmm, filled. Fit. <laughs> Milk. Milk. Hee <laughs> hee. Perhaps you haven't been listening to the ample testimony the court has heard. But these witnesses both saw the moment the attack took place. That's... that's right. I saw it with my own eyes. It was five o'clock in the evening and already dark. There was the typical London fog on the ground. When you saw the incident unfold and ran to the victim's aid, that was actually on the west side of Briar Road. No, that's not true. It, it, it can't have been. Constable Beef then arranged for you to be absent for a while by sending you for help. And during the 15 minutes you were away, he transplanted the crime scene. He moved all the things shown in this print. The victim herself, the four books. He moved everything, in fact, to the pavement on the east side of Briar Road. Extraordinary. But the constable overlooked one thing. What? What did he overlook? The bouquet, I presume. Doof, I can't believe you. You're a I'm, I'm sorry, sir. You're a criminal. I am always am, sir. I love criminals. I know you do, sir. I love people who can just kick my ass. <laughs> Exactly. That's the, that's why Suzado's here. The prosecution told the court just a few minutes ago about the discovery of the rose bouquet. Lord Van Zyke said, It wasn't noticed until the morning as it lay where the street lamps cast no light. Yes, it couldn't be seen in the dark, obviously. Which is why it was only the bouquet that was found in its original position on the pavement on the west side of Briar Road. Huh. And that is the defense's theory about what really happened that evening. How do you respond, Constable Roly Beat? I'm, uh, I'm still sleeping, sir. <laughs> Um, well, I'm very sorry, sir. I didn't mean to nod off again, but I haven't slept properly in uh in a month, sir. Do I miss uh anything important, sir? I'm trying to play dumb, but don't 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 try to read into that, sir. Oh, Roly. It isn't true, is it? What the lawyer said is all lies, isn't it? Of course, Pat, sir. I know it is, because you're the most upstanding, righteous man I know. I'll show you upstanding, sir.
I had a dream, sir. A terrible dream, sir. All the things uh, I did last night, sir. Everything come out. Everything exposed, sir. <gasps> Only it seems, sir. It, uh, wasn't a dream at all, sir. Oh, Rolly. Oh. Good, good golly. Dupe, you animal. Order, order, order. All right, chat, chat, chat. Say it with me, okay? All cops are bastards. <laughs> okay, say it with me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, say it. <laughs> You two packs. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I know, right? Damn. All cops are packs? Our cops are just doing their jobs? Damn, dude. I think what, what? made that was the hand clap. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, thank you. I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, uh channel my inner Karen. Oh energy. my god, Morty. <laughs> <laughs> also, I uh, we have a new one, Mario, Mario Party Super Saz. Super Saz Saga. Super Saz. Super Star Saga. Overrated game, sa. You, you don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> what on what on earth is the meaning of all this? Oh, Rolly, why? Why would you do something like this? Moving a corpse is, is, is a criminal offense, isn't it? Um, actually, she wasn't dead, so, you know. <laughs> you know, it's true. She was just in a coma, so. Wishing the victim dead should be one, too. Constable, explain yourself. Why would you do this? As a respected member of Scotland Yard, your duty is to protect the good people of London Town. Uh, I can't say, sir. What? I really am ever so sorry about all this, sir. For damaging the yard's reputation, for for everything, sir. Huh. I have a possible explanation. For why, on that particular evening, Constable Beat felt compelled to move the scene of the crime. I can think of one reason. What? How could you possibly know? You, a foreigner, presuming to understand the mind of a Scotland Yard policeman. Then yet, Lord Van Zykes, it is this foreigner who has uncovered the startling truth of the matter thus far. <gasps> I believe it would be beneficial to the court to hear this extraordinary young lawyer's theory. Counsel. For the defense, if you please. Y yes, my lord. Now then, I think you'd better show us some evidence. At once, my lord. England, Japan, it makes no difference where you come from. Human emotions are the same. I have the hiccups. You get the hiccups in either Japan or or Japan. Ooh, who would have who would have guessed? What hiccups? Yeah. Well, if anyone knows anything about hiccups, do. Oh my gosh! I oh my gosh! Oh, I think hiccups like seventy two hours straight. It was torture. <laughs> oh, I don't want to think about it ever again. And that was during like the Mario Party stream, so it's it's on a vod for everyone to experience. <laughs> Is it? Has it been uploaded? Was that the first? That was VOD the first one. Yeah, because it was the Mario oh, Kart geez. day two. Oh jeez. Yeah, I think I think I think that was COVID, but I'm not too sure. <laughs> Recommended channels, Iron Mouse. I've never watched Iron Mouse in my life. <laughs> don't, don't, do not say that name. <laughs> don't say that name in the presence of someone, someone specific. It, 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 he's been using Iron Mouse uh, emotes the entire stream. Don't <laughs> use that name in front of Geeky. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I thought you were talking about Mordion. Oh my god, Geeky did say Iron Mouse is the best VTuber. That was a joke <laughs> when I said no, don't say it in front of Geeky. <laughs> I didn't know. 
I fucked up. My favorite VTuber is the Illuminati. <laughs> That's a VTuber? Yeah, she, she got a VTuber thing. What? Um, yeah. Fucking, Recently. Fucking verb. <laughs> Few will survive. Huh. And I think I have a fairly good idea of the feelings behind this man's actions. Look at the way the motive or constable beats unthinkable action. Um, the warrant card. Take that! I realize that I'm a foreigner in this land, and I've only just arrived from Japan. Which is why all this information about London's so-called bobbies is completely new to me. I've learned that, though honorable, patrolling the beat is the most demanding work in the world, for example. Creeping the priest, looking after the citizens on his beat in all kinds of ways. There's no doubt that the young Bobby is charged with a great deal to do each day, certainly. But for Constable Beat, the day in question was special. Special? How? On account of this bouquet, my lord. Oh, yes. It was our very first wedding anniversary. And our last. <laughs> Sa. Sa. Constable Pete had worked so hard to be able to afford this simple gift for his wife, and was so looking forward to taking her out for a celebratory meal. When he and Mrs. Beat stumbled upon a crime along Briar Road. I don't know who's talking now. I think it's Rion. Okay. When he saw that shadowy figure through the fog collapse on the pavement ahead of them, what must have gone through the man's mind? But, Sa, just hold on. On that particular day, I was looking forward to celebrating my wedding anniversary. Miss Beat puts up with a lot being married to a Bobby like me. I want to show my dear wife how much I care, Sa. Anna, anniversary. -a. Anniversary. -a. Doesn't work as well. Kinda does. Not really. Anniversary. Ooh, I like it, too. <laughs> You're welcome, Sa. Thanks, Sa. This is the warrant card the Constable Beat offered to lend to me earlier. Inside, uh, among, among the rules for patrolling policemen, it says... <laughs> when a crime is discovered on his beat, a policeman must assist with initial investigations and help detectives. Aha! Uh -huh. Constable Beat. Is that or is that not the reason why you moved the whole scene of the crime that day? But Mordion, Iron Mouse isn't even playing a video game. They're just chatting, okay? How am I supposed to watch them when they're not going to play a video game? You know? Also, is Daft Punk a VTuber, if you think about it? Um... <laughs> Can, can, can we get a VTuber alignment chart? Where would where, 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 where Daft Punk fall under that? What are you on, Geeky? It's up to you to create a, a VTuber alignment chart. Is a VTuber a sandwich? Is a VTuber a sandwich? It would be a V band. Oh, okay. But can is a V band like a subset? A VTuber, or like, are they both subsets of like V people? Is I don't a, know. Is a V card a subset of <laughs> a VTuber? Yeah, it's like I got my V card when I got my COVID shot. <laughs> this is short for vaccination card. So, does, does that mean Scott the Waz doesn't have a V card anymore? <laughs> I don't know. Did, did Scott get vaccinated? I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know. Check your check your link. link? Check your link, Phaser. The red no. one? Oh my, oh my god. god. There's a one exists. Oh, Vinny's my a god. VTuber? What? VTubers <laughs> Ryan's a VTuber. Wow. 
Is Vinny a is Vinny a VTuber? That one blue furry dragon is a VTuber, apparently. <laughs> huh. Is the annoying orange a VTuber? Yeah, I've, I've never thought about that. <laughs> like, it may actually be a VTuber. Huh. I'm gonna oh, think Jesus about this Christ. for a while. I'm gonna. Well, we learned a lot of stuff already today. I, I mean, I don't know about you, I'm saving this alignment chart for, <laughs> for research purposes. Verve is out of control. Everything you said, it's all right, sir. Oh my god, Phaser. <laughs> I'm a bastard, sir. <laughs> Mr. Rogers is a VTuber. Oh my gosh. <laughs> see, 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 virtual neutral YouTube rebel. Gorillas, yeah. Daft Punk. See, see, I'm right. But but Daft Punk are still like when they perform real people. Gorillas has Gorillas has the actual like animated form. I guess, I guess. Hold on, is has someone has someone asked this before on the internet? Is Daft Punk a VTuber? Are they still alive? Daft Punk? I mean, they retired. If you and your... Is Wait, Daft Punk no. a virtual band? Oh. Huh. This is... There's actually... There's actually a section on this on uh, on the talk page for the, oh for the virtual band article on Wikipedia. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's a specific part. Uh, so, in a short answer, no. Daft Punk are no, are not virtual, and no normal band can be virtual under any circumstance. Oh, that's somebody's argument. So, hold on, hold on. What about what about any article virtual band? Does it say this? This is like these are big questions. Okay, Daft Punk is not mentioned anywhere in that article, so I'm gonna say no. So that's it. It was all to do with the boundary of your beat. Oh. Exactly. To summarize, the incident actually occurred on Constable Beat's beat. For gracious. Constable, do you realize the gravity of what you've done? Is, um, is Morty on a VTuber? It, it was the first time since I began a copper, sir. That I'll ever curse God, sir. Oh, wow. Stay close to me, Pat, sir. The criminal could be still looking on somewhere, sir. And then we ran over to the olive. I had every intention of doing my duty as a police officer, sir. <laughs> You've got to report this to the station as quickly as possible, sir. But then it dawned on me, sir. I realized where we were, where the victim was lying, sir, and what that meant for me, sir. When a crime is discovered on his beat, sir, policemen must assist with initial investigations and help detectives, sir. Why here, sir? Why does this why does this have to happen here, sir? Why did this happen to me, to me? sir? I made my thirteen centennials, sir. And why tonight of all nights, sir? Because in the Ace Attorney universe, there's a lot of coincidences, sir. <laughs> Man. It's a copper's job to guard the scene of the crime, so, sir. Man. I'm just realizing who this makes the culprit. I told Pat 
What? I'm curious to see how that's gonna go. <laughs> I told Patch you have to go to the nearest police box and fetch whoever was on duty there, sir. It was then when I opened my mouth to speak, sir. It just came out. I couldn't believe the words that were coming out of my own mouth, sir. This is the next beat to mine, Pat, sir. So you have to go to the police box that covers it. Turn right around to Mearsham Street and then, sir. Hmm. I lied to you. Susanna. I lied to my wife. <laughs> I lied to God. I'm uh, just a... I'm the real criminal. <laughs> Do you know how hard it was to move that olive, saw? <laughs> she was freaking fat, saw. So. <laughs> she was like 300 pounds, saw. So. My god. I, I'm... I'm sorry, saw. So. I'm so sorry, saw. So. <laughs> I just wanted to take my wife out to a meal. <laughs> no. no, constable. I I just wanted, sir. Just, just that one night to take my Patricia out for dinner, sir. Oh, oh Raleigh. Raleigh. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I I have a lot of self-loving. <laughs> I'm so happy we did that at the exact same time. <laughs> <laughs> Just that one night, sir. You knew that if, if the incident was on your beat, your evening of celebration would be ruined. And so you decided to move the entire crime scene outside your jurisdiction. And just across the street, to the east pavement of Briar Road, which falls under the neighboring beat's care. You see, I, I, I thought, sir. Well, I, I sure the victim was dead, you see, sir. I beg your pardon? Oh. oh. God damn it! I hate myself. <laughs> I mean, look, if you want, if you want to do Patty Doof, I mean, you go ahead. No, no, you know, you go ahead. After you. Oh, of course he did. Otherwise, my Rolly would never have left the poor woman on the freezing cold pavement. Oh, I see your meaning now. But God got me back from my sins, didn't he, Sa? That's why, Sa. That's why I missed the rose I bought for Pat, Sa. Oh no, Rolly. That was all my fault. Yes, it was, Pat. <laughs> I should never have dropped it in such a dark place. It's all your fault I'm going to jail, Pat. I'm so sorry, Rolly. Yeah, we're getting divorced, Pat, Sa. But prison sex is kind of great, Rolly. Oh, I mean, if you want to go to prison with me, sir. So. I'll kill a man right now, Rolly. Okay, uh, kill, um... I don't know. Kill anyone you want, I guess. <laughs> no, I'll make sure not to drop the soap, sir. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, dude. You're welcome, sir. <laughs> and can you tell us, Constable, how many books did you move from the from the one side of the road to the other in total? Hmm? Oh, um, uh, four it was. Yes, sir. Definitely four, sir. Three of them dropped by Mr. Natsume, and a fourth being the one that fell from the window upstairs in the Garrett of Household, of course. But... What made you place that book in the victim's hand? When all the others were scattered haphazardly around, I mean. Oh, well, sir, that's because that's how I found it, sir. 
Now you found it. What do you mean? When we first ran over to the scene, sir. The victim was already holding the book, sir. So, when I moved everything, I made sure I was, it was still in her hands, sir. You're sure it was this book? The lion's pride that the victim was holding. Yes, sir. No doubt about it, sir. Hmm. Interesting. A book entitled The Lion's Pride that was in the victim's hand when Mrs. Beat first ran over to see what had happened. I thought it was an open and shut case at the time, you see, sir. There was only two people at the scene, sir. And Pat and me both saw it happen, sir. However, which way you looked at it, it had to be the fellow who ran off who'd done it, I thought, sir. Hmm. I couldn't see the harm, really, sir. I didn't think moving it over the road would make a lot of difference, sir. I, I suppose this is it for me now, sir. I've had it, sir. Hmm. My lord. Yes, Lord Van Sykes. I believe that concludes the cross-examination of the witnesses. <laughs> Constable, you may withdraw. Yes, sir! <laughs> um, Mr. Prosecutor, sir. What will become of my Roly? What will happen to him? Oh, you don't want to know, Pat, sir. <laughs> I'm gonna light him up inside an omnibus. <laughs> For now, you are free to go home. The police will contact you in due course. Please, don't punish my husband. This this was all my fault. It's yes, because, that was all her fault. It's because I'm always moaning at him for coming home late. Yeah, yeah, you, you moan anything. You moan anyways, okay? They just gave you that word, doof, just to do whatever <laughs> you wanted. <laughs> Leave it now, Pat, sir. Let's go home. I'm tired, sir. <sighs> <sighs> All right, then, my love. One last thing, Constable. Uh, yes, sir? Let this be a lesson to you. In a criminal investigation, every detail matters, however insignificant it may seem to you. Yes, sir. Ryun should learn that too, sir. Carve that lesson in your mind. Carving it with a knife right now, sir. No, no, not like that. Don't, no, no, Roly, no. Never again make the mistake of tampering with the scene of a crime. Uh, it won't, it, it, it's okay, sir. It's, I'll be in jail. It will not, <laughs> won't never happen again, sir. Leave now. This trial is not yet over. Um, um, uh, saw! The last saw you'll ever hear from me. There they saw. go. I'll there they go. go. There, there they, they go, go again. again. Saw. Saw. What, what did you change it to now? Yaki Saab, a pants. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> The mod so, log is just flooded. Oh okay, so did you <laughs> did you have the um the the cop move in the crime scene on your bingo card? <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I didn't either. Hmm. Yeah, that was a pretty great twist, I think. Yeah. I just I'm I'm curious to see how they're gonna handle this because I, I I know I know who they're gonna pin the culprit as now. The lion that was in um, the apartment that that uh, Mr. Sholmes, you know, deduced. <laughs> it was him. I was hoping it was going to be the jester so we could finally get Morty on. <laughs> oh, yeah, I hope so, too. What anyway, that, <laughs> that 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 cross examination took like 30 more minutes than I thought it was going to take. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> Not my fault. It's yeah, it totally was my fault. <laughs> it's, it's it's both of our faults. <laughs> Yeah, we're I blame terrible. I blame Ver for like three minutes of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
quite a startling revelation, I must say. Whoever thought of a third party transplanting the entire scene of a crime like that? Indeed, my lord. Nevertheless, there are some immutable facts here. Princi principally. That the accused, Mr. S Mr. Suzuki Natsume, is the only person who could have possibly have committed this crime. Objection. No, I, I disagree. Now that we know the true scene of the incident, there is someone else. Another person who could be responsible for the knife in the victim's back. Forgive me for being presumptuous, but I believe the prosecution is probably <laughs> well aware of this possibility already. No, Lord Van Sykes, is this true? Very well. Name the person, if you will, and a further investigation is warranted. The prosecution has no objection to the trial continuing. You will name this other you will name this other person who could have perpetrated the crime. It was Gregson, Gregson all it was along. Gregson. Mm -hmm. What if I just What if what if I just you know What if I just I just did this. Oh my god! <laughs> <I> just... <laughs> Fluttersaw. There we go. There we go. Which Gregson is it? Which which one is which Gregson's which? Will the real Tobias Gregson please stand up? Please stand up. Please stand up. <laughs> Reminder that Undertale got me into Eminem. How? Okay, so there's the okay, so I was looking up um Undertale mashups, okay? Okay. And I there was those there was a mashup of Spider Dance and uh, the real Slim Shady. Huh. That was like the first Eminem song I've ever like listened to. Huh. <laughs> and I was like, this is kind of good. So I listened yeah. to the original one. I'm like, yo, I love this song. <laughs> also, the mashup's really great too. It's My, called the real. It's called the real Spider Shady. If anyone's curious, I, I mean the best. The best Spider Dance mashup is the high quality rip of it being uh, Istanbul, not Constantinople. I think I heard that one too. I think you showed me that too. I probably did. I think you did. <laughs> it's a very high quality rip. The defense would once again like to request the cross examination of a new witness, my lord. Once again. My assistant made the same request earlier. In order to finally reveal the truth about this case, it's imperative that we cross examine juror number four, Mrs. Joan Garadeb. <gasps> I'm a maid! Oh, dearie me. <laughs> Objection. That request has already been denied. Impartial jurors, my ass. <laughs> no, the, the random jurors. Oh. Okay? Yeah, totally random. Totally no. random. Yeah. Thanks, Bruce Fairplay. But the situation is very different now. You know, I like I, I I like the one time I got someone to juror duty. I did not get picked for a juror because it was a drug case. I was like, "Yo, drugs are pretty cool." <laughs> 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 and so they didn't you, pick me you would, because of that. You would I do know. that. I mean, it wasn't I wasn't lying, you Absolutely. know, either. It was like for marijuana, I think, and I was like, marijuana sh should not be illegal. So Damn. I think she's perfectly fine. Doof, Doof <laughs> coming in today with all the, uh, all the, all the social commentary takes. <laughs> Mrs. Garadeb, answer me this. Not yet, Fajer. What do you want? What do you want now, you little toad? That. At the time of the incident, you were engaged <gasps> in a <vi> <laughs> What the fuck was that? It was an oink. 
Do that one more time. <laughs> I honestly thought you had like a really intense hiccup. That's what I thought that was. <laughs> The Saddle Realm. <laughs> you were engaged in a violent argument with your husband, Mr. John Garadeb. In the course of the argument, a minor house fire was ignited. And to clear the smoke from the room, your husband opened a window that looks out over Briar Road. Well, what of it? You threw this book at your husband when he was cornered with his back against the window. <laughs> Upon striking the pane of the open top hinged casement window, the book plummeted directly down. Finding its way to what we now know to be the true scene of the incident. Yes, and I said, what of it? During the argument, you were beside yourself with rage. And as such, you threw not just books, but anything you could lay your hands on. <laughs> so let me ask you one more time, Mrs. Garadeb. This knife, the one removed from the victim's back. Have you really never laid eyes on it before? Ah! <laughs> I don't recall it. Seriously? Oh, how am I supposed to remember everything I picked up and threw at my husband? Huh. Did you slap yourself? Yes. Just like she's doing right now. Man, you're getting yourself into character, dude. I know, I do that a lot. <laughs> and anyway, the man over there is in all right regalia said members of the jury need just needn't testify, didn't he? Conveniently, yes. Objection. Everything's convenient for me. <laughs> Impartial, juror. No. I have no recollection of saying that at all. <laughs> juror number four. Uh-oh. Make no mistake. You jurors are not special in any way. Oh, you snap. are not immune to the judicial process. Oh, snap. Damn. If you know something about this knife, madam, let the truth come out. <gasps> but, but that's not a common or a garden knife. It, it would have could have came from anywhere. We have several like that at home. If if one went missing, we we wouldn't know. <laughs> so you're saying you do have one? <laughs> you do know what a knife is. Hmm. What what what's that? Are you talking? What do you say, please, Mrs. Garadub? I love that everyone, everyone, all five jurors, five, sorry, four jurors are staring at, at Mrs. Garadeb, except for Bruce Fairplay, who's just staring off into the distance. <laughs> now you listen to me. I refuse to believe all this nonsense. I couldn't bear the thought that I would injure someone. Do you hear me? I couldn't bear it. Oh, the poor woman. So, yes, I want evidence. I want to see hard evidence if you can insist on this being my fault. Hmm, you're going to have to prove me that I threw that knife, if that's what you think. I hope, I hope Mr. Garadeb just springs into action out of nowhere. Come along now, chop chop! Do your worst! Um, well... Well, Mr. Narhudo? If, if I had evidence like that, believe me, I would have thrown it at her already. Like the knife. <laughs> the knife. And then take the stand, juror. Super Bowl Saw Day. And the prosecution does not object to the defense's request to cross examine <laughs> this woman. Thank you, Lord Van Zykes. Uh, I'm gonna have to testify? <laughs> Juror number four. As I'm sure you will appreciate, having observed it with your own eyes today. Witness testimony 
can lead to the most extraordinary truths being unearthed. Truths of which the witnesses themselves may not even have been aware. How oh, dare me! So I demand their full and unadulterated testimony, Mrs. Garadep. And mark my words, in this court of law today, we shall extract the truth. Do you concur, counsels? Certainly, my lord. Oh, um... That's what I'm hoping for, my lord. What if we get a guilty verdict on Mrs. Garadeb when she didn't know she even did it? God, that would make me feel like garbage. This game would do that. <laughs> huh. Especially after after how Case 3 went? Hmm. This is such a strange feeling. For the first time since arriving in this country, it actually feels real. I'm here, in the Old Bailey, and I'm a lawyer. <gasps> Witness, state your name and occupation. Oh, uh, yes, my name is Joan Garrida, but I'm, I'm still a maid. And I'm, uh, well, I'm a juror, and such like, <laughs> nothing else. It sounds like even she doesn't know if she's a housewife or a maid, or what anymore. And the court has decided your testimony is required in order to clarify matters in this case. Um, people call me a trophy wife. <laughs> Do you understand? I'm a trophy wife. Yes. Yes, my lord. And you will tell the court everything that took place in your household on the evening in question. And I warn you. Do not attempt to hide the truth. Uh, oh, dearie, dearie me. Oh. Chin up, Joni. Nothing to worry about now. I'm here now. The moon face is back. Oh, <laughs> my moony. I'll moon you, Joan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't know you were here, John. Please do. <laughs> Wasn't only in that room that day, old thing, was it? Rather think God that testifies well, don't you? But but what about your knee, dear? Don't you worry about that. Hardly notice it. I'm not the sort of chat to leave a comrade to face disciplinary action alone. Oh, John. Oh, Joe. Let's make love in uniform here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What is with these motherfucking witnesses and the motherfucking reason to want to make love in, uni in uniform in the courtroom? What's wrong with you people? London's a hell of a place, Joan. <laughs> they let anything go on here. <laughs> it's like New York City. <laughs> no, I presume you're Mr. John Garrett. Yes, sir. Former Sig Lieutenant, 3rd Richmond, and the 4th Northumberland Fusile, sir. I've seen my fair share of action, and now living the quiet life, as it were. In the quiet life? Were you not engaged in an incendiary battle with your spouse on the day in question? Oh, well, yes. Uh, quiet. Well, I believe this may represent a first in the proud history of the British court. Calling a juror to the witness stand is unprecedented. However, the court will hear your testimony now. Juror number four, and not of your husband. You will recount clearly and concisely the events in your home at the time of the incident in question. Sir, at once. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, on the day you're referring to, the wife and I did have a bit of a skirmish. Can't recall the reason now. <laughs> Knocked the candlestick over and set fire to the carpet. Soon had it out though and got the window open. Meanwhile, I was picking up whatever I can find to throw at him. Planning eyes around our place. Can't say I noticed if one or two were missing, I'm afraid. 
If that baller thing in the victim's back really was one of us, you'll have a job proving it, I think. Hmm. It sounds as though it was quite the battlefield in your household that evening. Hmm. Oh, no. An entirely one-sided assault, it seems. The enemy caught us on the hop, sir. Had no choice but to dig in and take defensive measures. And to be honest, if the enemy had kept shelling us for another minute, we'd have been toast. Of course, a veteran such as myself is only too aware that on every battlefield, you just an axe whisker from death at any moment. Are we still talking about a, mar a marital quarrel here? What's the difference? <laughs> Domestic violence is funny! <laughs> <laughs> well, I must say, I'm dubious that this testimony will shed any light on the origins of the jackknife. In combat, one's focus narrows such that surroundings are barely noticed. These witnesses may not be able to offer anything more than they've testified already. This may be a dead end. Van Zykes may well be right. Well, whatever the chances, we only have this last cross-examination to uncover the truth, Mr. Narhudo. Yeah, it's part two of the trial. <laughs> yes, I'm afraid so. It's like the longest part two. It's only it's only so long because we have to keep interrupting the story. <laughs> Why? It's actually it's actually quite short if like we just but, went straight. But the stars, the stars, <laughs> the the fault in our stars. Doof, look look at what we're doing now. What we're off we topic, doing? Doof. I know. <laughs> Very well, Council. You're getting your cross examination. Uh. Okay. Bit of a skirmish. Can't recall the reason now. Knocked a candlestick over and set fire to the carpet. Soon headed out though and got the window open. Meanwhile, I was picking up whatever I could find to throw at him. Hmm. Hmm. Hi. Doof! What did you throw? Your heart. Aww. Aww. Question mark? Question mark? My heart at you? Aww, question mark? Oh no, someone threw my heart. I'm dead. Oh my god, Ver. What? President Obama. I, uh... I ran for the, uh... For the president. President. <laughs> that doesn't work. Stop. <laughs> Fucking hell, sir. Even though the room is on fire. As far as I can serve at the time. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't believe Joan is dead. <laughs> sorry, someone pained me. It was more important to distinguish my anger than the flames. What a woman wants to throw, she must throw. That is the law of London. <laughs> that is most certainly not true of a Suzado takedown, Mr. Nahudo. Well, maybe it should be. How did she know I was thinking that? So, please cast your mind back and try to remember. Was a knife among the items that you threw at your husband that day? Oh, I honestly don't recall. Uh, but I feel I must point out that I'm no monster. Let me see. Uh, some bread, a cabbage, a garlic, you know, just a supper for tonight. You know, towel, sponge, a napkin, Did a he... pizza, a roast beef. That's it? <laughs> oh, and also some of the Sunday. What? Sunday. Oh my god. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Do you have something something to add, sir? I gotta sneeze it. Oh my god. That's really stuck. Oh no, but I have more things to add, okay? I threw um a cannon, um um 
Um, some wood, a chair, um, a gun. Yeah, I know we had guns back then. Um, <laughs> you Japanese don't know about guns. You, you guys don't like guns. In, I, actually, in, I think in the nineteen forties. I think, I think I think they do know about guns already. No, or were they not? I don't know. I don't know when Japanese got guns. But guns were invented in like the seventeen hundreds. I think so. Do you have something to add, sir? Mr. Giradeb. Also, nice World War II reference. <laughs> Thank you, noob. <laughs> Don't shoot. Sir, I beg your pardon? Did your wife's remark just now bring something to mind? Nothing of any significance, no. Just that the barrage of projectiles the old thing launched in my direction. <coughs> Someone more solid than Sorry, she flies. Good. Doof's dead. Books, bricks, pizza, roast beef, and the fire poker. I seem to recall. Ouch. And then she busted out the gun. <laughs> and the woman's name is a kid. Ah! Good grief, woman. We're not at home now. This is a court of law. Oh, dearie me. Ever so sorry, dear. What's she even doing with the teapot in here? It's a stress reliever, sir. Honestly, John, I would never have thrown such things at you, obviously. Even though I just admitted it. <laughs> well, take a look at this, then. How you suppose that happened, hmm? <clears throat> Your pipe, sir. Get this thing in my hands, as usual, at the time of the onslaught. Knocked it clean out with one of the soft projectiles she did. Yes. And when I went to pick the thing up, it was broken in two. I'd like to see a sponge do that sort of damage. Oh, I can replicate that. <laughs> I see. Your pipe was broken. It would never have been sent flying unless it was hit by something pretty solid. Yeah, you thought I was going to pour that in there at the time, didn't you? I thought, I thought she was. <laughs> I was waiting. <laughs> anyway, I managed to bandage the thing up for now. Ah, you're one to exaggerate, aren't you, dear? It's broken, Joan! Look at it! Yeah, you just taped it up. It's, it's fixed now. I wonder what we should make of this account. It could be important. No, I think it's insignificant. Yeah, it was a waste of time. Yeah. The defense believes Mr. Gairdeb's remarks just now to be of great significance. Objection! Whoa. There's more veteran's words only tell us one thing. That he's a heavy smoker and he's gonna die within five years. Betray a fiery wife, and pipes as well as hearts may be broken. Sentimental wisdom, perhaps, but hardly worthy of adding to the formal testimony. Indeed. Common sense, one might say. Might one? In that case, would you at least permit us to examine the pipe, sir? Hmm? Well, I don't see why not. Oh dear me! There you go again, trying to in 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 I don't know that word at all. Joan, don't you know the English language? <laughs> no, yourself with a young lady. <laughs> Very well. The court will accept the gentleman's pipe as evidence. Mister Garadib's pipe apparently fell to the floor during a domestic dispute he had with his wife and broke. Hmm, it's insignificant. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Oh, the pipe was the murderer all along. Oh. It makes sense. Oh, yeah. Man. Dude, we're smart. We should be lawyers. Yeah, we are. Yeah. <laughs> I hope I didn't speak out of turn, Mr. Nahudo. I, I was just feeling rather disappointed for you that your request was turned down. Oh no, it's fine. Thanks to Susan. Some volcano. We have some new evidence to work with. We should examine it carefully. Thank you for that rebuttal, Mr. Gerdeb. Now we can return to the crux of the matter. What can you tell the court about the knife used to attack the victim? Oh my god, that was a hearty yondu. Oh, sorry. 
Uh, let's take a look at the pipe. What's going on hmm. with the pipe? That's what in the, in the world pipe. is what? that? Oh, something just twinkled inside the chamber of the pipe there. Yes, I saw it. Something stuck in there, I think. Let's turn it over and give it a shake. Shake, 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 <laughs> shake it. Ooh, what's this? It's a tiny fragment of metal. It's a tiny, it... bulgy, bulgy metal piece. <laughs> You're the one who started it. You're the one who started it. <laughs> You started it! I just finished it! Oh my god. <laughs> I thought I taught you better, do. <laughs> I really thought I did. I've been watching too much of The Click, I'm sorry. The Adam Sandler movie? No, but I do <laughs> like that too. <laughs> it's actually like a generally good movie. It's pretty sad for Sandler standards. I know, that's why it's so good. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the tip of a blade or something. The tip of a blade? Surely it couldn't be. The small piece of metal looks like it might be the tip of a knife blade. It was stuck inside the bowl of Mr. Garridum's pipe. Hmm. 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 Interesting. Hmm. I'm also just going to do the tape, just to be safe. It looks to be in a sorry state with that bandage around it, doesn't it? But for some reason, it feels slightly ominous to me, like it's trying to shout out a warning. Probably because it's the same blue as Mr. Garadeb's dressing gown. I suppose it must have been considerable sentimental... Con it must have been considerable sentimental value to Mr. Garadeb, given that he's gone to the trouble of repairing it like this. Either that, or he can't afford to replace it. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Let me look also now at the knife. Yeah. Hmm. I did not notice that the last time we opened this. Oh, look here, Mr. Narhudo. Just at the tip. A small piece of the blade appears to be missing. Wait, part of it's missing? I could be wrong, but I've just got a feeling. You remember this? Ah, oh, that's... That's the tiny fragment of metal that we found inside Mr. Gerdeb's pipe. Yes, and just maybe. Oh my, it's a perfect fit. Somehow I just knew it. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, get me out of here. Get me to... Have a job proving it. Man. Man. Objection. Man. There's no way that what I said earlier is how this is going to go down, right? <laughs> they're not going to hand down a guilty verdict. Or well, obviously not guilty of Natsume, but but they're going to find Joan guilty for a crime she didn't know she committed. Oh man. Mr. Garadeb, could I ask you to take a good look at this please? You can ask, but I can't see a bolly thing. You can't? You used to call me Dead Idea back in the regiment, of course. But that was some time ago now. Even when I'm trying to enjoy a large print book by the fire these days. I struggle to tell a B from a D and a P from a Q, to be honest. Me tell. <laughs> oh, he does. Dirty me. I'd rather wear an, I'd rather wear an B and ask about every other letter and every other word. You must D very doozy. Does he? Fussy. 
Sassy. Sassy. <laughs> what is that? A tiny scrap of metal? Yes, almost certainly from the tip of a blade. And what may appear at first to be just a tiny scrap is in fact a crucial piece of evidence. Interesting. And where did the defense come by this evidence? It was lodged in the chamber of Mr. Garadub's pipe. My pipe, you say? By Jove, I wonder how they got there. And what precisely does this fragment of metal signify, Council? Are you suggesting that it is in some way related to the matter of the stabbing on Briar Road? Come on, do, do that yourself right now. Ow. Uh. <laughs> he did it. I did it. He did the thing. I did it. It hurt. I am. What? Morty, I'm so sorry. Morty, what'd you do? I wrote my calculations and just fall over all the eggs. Oh my god, Mordion. The, the, this is what happens when you get chocolate eggs instead of jelly beans. Mordion, Mordion. <laughs> Mordion drops more things related to chocolate than anyone else I've met in my life. <laughs> I swear. I guess his floor is just a choco magnet. Mordion, can you confirm that your, um,. That your floor is a magnet for chocolate. We need to know. Enlighten us, Mordion, please. Please do. If you don't know, please do some scientific experiments. Blink twice. <laughs> if, the, if the chocolate <laughs> floor is holding you hostage. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, oh, I, 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 I rewatched the hostage s situation from two days ago, and it was just as ridiculous as I remembered. I didn't realize just how ludicrous just, like, putting Morty on back and forth in the Shadow Realm was. <laughs> I just lost oh my, my mind rewatching that. <laughs> I had a lot of fun just with the description on that, um, on that VOD. Oh my, I had to read that. Yeah, you do. <laughs> oh my god. When put together with another piece of evidence already in the court record, I believe this tiny fragment of metal will unravel the whole truth of this case, my lord. Oh my god, she has to stand on a crate. Oh my god. It's okay, Kinder Eggs aren't banned anymore. Hmm. If you're rather confident in that extraordinary statement, Council. Yeah, I mean, it's true. Very well. I sent the pertinent evidence to the court. What evidence? I'm very this fragment of metal. Allegedly reveals the truth of this entire case. Well, the, jack the armband. The, ja the yeah, armband. I, I, I was going to say the secondhand <laughs> book receipt. <laughs> Makes sense. No, I, I, I've seen Kinder Eggs in store like last year. Yeah, Kinder Eggs aren't banned anymore. Yeah. I see them in stores all the time. Yeah. They were, but not anymore. This is the knife that was found in the victim's back. But when will the Wonder Balls return? I love the Wonder Balls. I love ball Wonder Balls, balls. too. Oh my I God. did too. <laughs> Why are we the same person? I, I was just <laughs> thinking about those the other day and how I wanted one. Oh my gosh. Man, I don't think those exist anymore, though, so uh, shame. Let's find out. Wonderballs. Thankfully, I'm opening this up in incognito, so if something weird comes up... <laughs> <laughs> it won't be in my search history. Um... Now it's still a thing. Frankfurt Candy still produces the Wonder Ball to this day. Oh, okay. Cool. Hmm. I need one. Wonder Ball is like a Kinder Egg, but like more round. It's like it's actually it's an actual sphere, and those like um, I don't know what's inside of them. I forgot. Um, yeah. How would you describe what's in them? There's sort of this little like oval like. 
I don't want to say they're sour candy, but they're 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 more sweet. They're, they're kind of like a sweet tart, right? Yeah, yeah, it's more like a sweet tart. Yeah, and they typically uh they used to have a bu- a lot of themed ones. Um like Wikipedia, I, I guess they just had in 2017 they had a Mario themed one. Which I don't know if I ever saw. Hmm. But yeah, it's literally uh literally the first paragraph under the history section in in Wonderball's uh Wikipedia article says it's similar to the Kinder Surprise. <laughs> it literally says that. Um, yeah, they used to have, when they first introduced them, they used to have toys in them rather than actual candy. Yeah. They got, they got withdrawn for three years because of choking hazards. (laughs) Hmm. If you look closely, you will see that there is a small piece at the tip of the blade that is missing. In the Wonder Ball. <laughs> that's, now that's a choking that hazard. Is a, I mean, I mean, really, it's in his pipe. That is a choking hazard. Yeah. <laughs> like... A common issue with the inferior blades sold at unsavory street markets. And criminals who use them regularly leave the tips lodged in their victims' bones. I would know. I've murdered a few men. One of this particular night. No doubt its tip has suffered a similar fate, now languishing somewhere near the spine of the victim. Uh, Mordion. Mordion, you ask that. You ask that. There was a case, I think, I think the Wikipedia article said in 2004, um, where a a kid may have choked on a Wonder Ball. An urban leg- it's an urban legend, they call it, has circulated that the, that the product was discontinued because a child choked and died, but there was no confirmation that the discontinuation was due to choking allegations. Oh. Yeah, it went away for nine years. I don't think it I've came. Always, I've always wondered just how many cases of like choking hazards actually had choking hazards. I don't know. I don't like, know. I, like I, I feel, I feel like at least, at least half of like worn and choking hazards was like because of the like the the possibility of it, not that yeah. it actually happened. Well, wasn't there? Isn't there? Wasn't there a case in like the late nineties, early two thousands? I forget exactly, but it, I think it was Burger King when they had Pokemon toys or something, and a kid choked. Oh, oh, oh I think uh, I think I kind of remember that. I think I, I I've read that a couple times before, but it's been a long while. Oh. <sighs> Um, was this it? Oh yeah, this is it. This is it. During uh during 1999 and 2000, Burger King and the Consumer Product Safety Commission Com- Safety Commission had an effort to recall plastic containers resembling Pokeballs in the U.S. after it was determined they presented a suffocation hazard. Yep, yeah, because there there were a few, there were a few uh. A few actual casualties. Oh wow! Pokemon kills. <laughs> it does, you know. <clears throat> huh? No, it's not the case. The tip of this particular knife's blade is the very fragment of metal was discovered in the chamber of Mister Garadip's pipe. Ah. Ah, good grief, Lord Van Sykes. I, I don't believe it. The knife in the crime scene, in this fragment of metal, are a perfect match. Good, good golly gosh! Order, order, order! Is, is this some sort of eastern sorcery? 
This is no magic, my lord. This is a miracle. A miracle? So Van Sykes has figured it out, has he? The console, explain this extraordinary coincidence at once. Yes, my lord. The crucial point we have to ask ourselves here is when did the fragment of metal find its... Oh my god, I'm hiccuping, at... hiccuping again. Oh, jeez. <laughs> find its way inside Mr. Garadub's pipe. Something that was clarified for us in the most recent witness testimony. I had this thing in my hand as usual at the time of the onslaught. Knocked her clean out with one of her side projectiles, she did. Yes. You would never have been sent flying unless it was hit by something pretty solid. Oh, dearie me. During the argument between these two that occurred just as the victim was on the pavement below, Mrs. Garadev flung this knife at her husband. However, the knife missed Mr. Garadev, instead striking the pipe in his hand at the time. <coughs> Which caused the tip to break off. Of course. Good lord! Yes, and that is when the tiny tip of the blade found its way inside Mr. Garadev's pipe. The chances of that are a million to one! And yet there's no other credible explanation for how the tip of the blade ended up in your pipe. Then, after losing its tip, the knife ricocheted off the pipe and flew out of the open window. Ah. In short, this knife, which fell from the window of the Garadip's house, is the very same knife that struck the victim in the middle of the back on the street below. Oh gosh! Oh dear! Oh! Uh, no! Man. Objection! Man. I love alcohol. Me too. <laughs> mm, full body theory. I'll give you that. A complex bouquet of seemingly trivial points, plausibly arranged to create an almost passable vintage. Allow me to toast my learned friend's characteristically Nipponese approach to bottling his argument. Sorry? But after all, it is just a theory. A game's theory. The bottle, I fear, is corked. Because you see... Oh! It's spoilt by an insurmountable con inconsistency. An insurmountable... What?! Lord Van Sykes, explain yourself. What is the inconsistency you claim to have identified? An inconsistency of the simplest nature, my lord. And the victim was found with a knife planted in the middle of her back. Yes, in her. Ah. Oh. <laughs> That's right, you silly little man. <laughs> How did the red mark just disappear like that? Now, Joe and old thing, what are you getting so excited about? Now let us consider the basic facts of the case once more. The victim was walking along the pavement before being stabbed in the back and falling to the ground. If the knife that struck her had fallen from above, there's no possible way it could have planted itself into the victim's back. I don't know, maybe ah! she has a really hunched back. Ever thought of that? I mean, can we, you... can we examine the victim's back to see how hunched it is? <laughs> how hunched can an olive be? Uh, that's a good point. That's a good point. Water! Water! But, that, but, but, but because of that question, we must investigate it now. Google, Google. Google. <laughs> Quite right, you see. That's, that's exactly right. If the knife had fallen on her from above. How hunched is an olive? I don't want to read fan fiction. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is everyone in this trial an idiot? Yeah, man. Have you ever have you played an Ace Attorney game before? What? I I, I don't know. I don't know what. I because it, 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 it's it's either everyone in the trial is an idiot or you're the idiot. <laughs> There's no in between. <laughs> <laughs> I would have struck her on top of the head. 
Well, um... He's lost for words, look. I knew it. I never liked this area in the first place. Well, I don't know. What really did happen? What? I can't hear you. What'd you say? <laughs> I still like pee. <laughs> hmm. It would appear the defense has made rather a spectacular blunder. If a theory is, has even one inconsistency, it cannot stand. Your theory, my learned friend, is history. We were so close, I could see the truth. I was so sure we were on the right track. But now the way has been blocked completely, by just one simple inconsistency. I don't know who this is talking. Or in other words... Okay. We simply need to eliminate that one inconsisten inconsistency, and a theory will stand. Miss Suzato. You mustn't worry, Mr. Nahudo. You were just caught off guard, that's all, and your mind went blank. But if the path you're on is indeed correct, then a way will present itself. The key to this is in the court record, I'm sure. All the information you need is there. It seems you have nothing to say, my Nipponese friend. Well, your silence speaks volumes. A tacit acceptance that your theory is fatally flawed. This incons inconsistency doesn't mean I was on the wrong track. It means that I need to sharpen my mind and dig deeper for the truth. It's a test. A test! <gasps> yes! If the knife fell on the victim from above, there's no way that it could have it hit her in the middle of her back. Under normal circumstances, that is. What are you implying? Godzilla? There is a piece of evidence in the court record that can, ex that can explain this inconsistency. That can explain how the knife that fell from above could have pierced the victim's back. We already have the answer. Oh, goodness! Uh, uh, madness. Uh, utter madness! Uh, utter madness! Your mom's an utter madness. I remember hearing those guys earlier talking about milk. I like others. Surely, this must be the last time. Counsel, present the evidence of which you speak. This is the last inconsistency, the final piece in the puzzle. If I can successfully make sense of this, the truth will be laid bare at last. The evidence that explains how the falling knife became lodged in the victim's back is the second-hand book receipt. The se- yeah, makes sense, yeah. It's the fourth book. Actually, I lied. It's the warrant card. Yep, makes sense. I told you the warrant card was ins insignificant. <laughs> <laughs> I really was. Are you okay? Pax? Am I dead? Am I dead? Did everyone die? Oh no. Oh no, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, I, okay. Pax. 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 Pax, 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 say something. Say something, please. Please, say something. <laughs> What's happening? What happened to me? What do you mean, what happened to you? Free? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> there he goes. There he goes again. 
Is this is the stream even running still? This how is the stream still running? Wait, what? <laughs> what? Pax, did the stream lab fuck you over? Okay, this is weird. Um, what's I don't know what is happening. I just can't talk anymore. Hmm. Okay. Um. Okay. So we're just gonna go on with this case. Um. I'm just gonna press the play button and um. Oh wait, I can't press the play button. Darn it. My plan finally worked. <laughs> hmm. Oh my god. Do. Are you back? Do. Yes. What happened? No, no. What happened? What happened? What happened? I have no idea. Gosh. <laughs> I was just talking and then it just it just died. Do your do your mic die or I, it it was still on. I had to like I had to go into Discord and like reset the uh what my input was. The input was on the normal one, but I, I just changed it and changed it back and I here I am. Oh, okay. Well you know that happens sometimes, so Technology's funky. Yeah. Funky Kong. I gotta find where I put the game. There's the game. You know, I mean, this we can't turn this into Doof's place, though. If we want. Doof, congratulations. Yes. On your promotion. Yes. Yes. I get 117 new followers. Yes. Doof becomes, uh, Doof becomes a streamer. Again. Well, on the same day, Phaser becomes a racist. Wow. Who would have thought? Which one? Would both. I mean, I would have thought Doof. But Phaser? Man, that's saucy. This. The fourth book found at the scene. This is the final piece of evidence. The defense will present. The burnt book. Is that not Mr. Garadim's book? Yes, and to understand its, its significance, we have to consider how it came to be at the scene in the first place. This photographic print clearly shows the book in question. And the victim holding it in her hand. But as we all now know, it was the police constable to put the book between her fingers like that. And if anyone knows how to use his fingers, it's Ooh. Rolly. Yeah. Sa. What's up? Sa. As part of his wholesale transplanting, the crime scene to the opposite side of the road. That's true. However, as part of his testimony, Constable Beat made an extremely enlightening statement on that point. But what made you place that book in the victim's hand? Doof, it wasn't the last time after all. Oh, well, sir. That's because that's how I found it, sir. I'm back from the grave, sir. <laughs> when we first ran over to the scene, sir. The victim was already holding the book, sir. So, when I moved everything, I made sure it was in her hand, sir. Tightly in her hand, but she can't drop it again, sir. In other words... The victim had already picked the book up of her own volition. And clearly, that must have been before she suffered the knife wound. Well, I should say so. Doof. Yeah. I got a BRB really quick. Oh my gosh. Again. <laughs> I need, okay. I need you now as the, as the professional streamer to entertain the people. Okay. Okay. Godspeed, Doof. Okay. So, I have a confession to make. Um... Between these times when I'm not talking very much, I've been trying to figure out what I'm, um, what I'm gonna have for for supper before the Nintendo Direct today. 
<laughs> and I think I'm gonna get some Dairy Queen. Now, I'm not sure really what I want from Dairy Queen yet. I know I want a Blizzard because, of course, you, you got we go to we go to Dairy Queen. You gotta get a Blizzard, okay? <laughs> what what's with the pop? No, 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 no pop in me, okay? I didn't do anything pop worthy. <laughs> or did I? I don't know. But I'm thinking what I should get for a burger. Well, actually, I need to know what I want is a blizzard. I There's like a red velvet cake blizzard, which sounds delicious. Um, but there's also like um, a Butterfingers blizzard, which also sounds delicious. But I don't think it's going to be kind of bare bones. So I think I'm going to just go with the red velvet one. Meta's a fuck? Why? The fuck is Dairy Queen? Phaser. Dairy Queen is an awesome fast food place where you get ice cream. I know what a I know what a blizzard is. Known for the blizzards. Yeah, I love Dairy Queen ice cream cakes. Yeah, it's a thick milkshake. Very thick. Hope Pax comes in the right this time. <laughs> yes. In fact, it's so thick that they legally have to hand it to you upside down. So they can prove how thick it is. This is actually a real thing. A oh, blizzard easy. McFlurry's a fucking trash, okay? I'm sorry, but they are. Love blizzards, hate McFlurries. Also, 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 like, McFlurry machine is always broken, okay? Like, always broken. Every single time you go to McDonald's, the... Every single time you go to McDonald's, the McFlurry machine is always broken. Maybe my McDonald's just does suck, okay? Every kind of fast food ice cream is good. Um... I mean, I don't know if that's true. Other... I mean, I would say that any kind of ice cream is good. So, I guess by subset, every fast food ice cream is good. So, on that basis, I would agree with you. Now, 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 Shamrock Shakes from McDonald's, those things are so good, okay? And it, it's almost Shamrock Shake season, so make sure you pick up at least one Shamrock Shake this year. A shamrock shake is just a mint shake. That's all. Also, we don't have Carl Jr.'s where I live. We have Hardee's instead, which is basically the same thing. What do you mean it's bad? It's mint. Who drinks mint? I drink mint. I drink mint all the time. Mint is freaking delicious. Morion, we 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 need to do something about your treats, um, um opinions. <laughs> oh my gosh, mint Oreos are to die for. I would literally die for mint Oreos. And I wish I was not being serious, but I am. Okay. You're never serious, dude. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so I think what well, after the stream ends, I'm gonna get. A triple loaded A1 steakhouse signature stack burger combo with uh, regular cheese curds and a large Dr. Pepper. And then I'm going to get a red velvet cake blizzard, medium what? size. Oh, I was th the entire time you were, ta you were gone, we were talking about Dairy Queen, and I'm going to get it after the stream ends. Oh. Dairy Queen's not bad. Yeah, I know. And there's one like. Um, they're, across the street for me. Their fast foods, like their food, is like surprisingly good. 
It's for, um, it's it's it's, it's decent, better than it's what you would think. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. What? But uh, but Dairy Queen or Sonic Drive-In, which one you like better? Ooh. Ooh, I know, right? Ooh. <laughs> I think I'd still take Dairy Queen. Ooh, interesting. I think I would. Sonic is okay. I we we had I think one, I, we had one I Sonic open depends. near us for like two years and then it just died. It just shut down. Oh no. It lasted okay, two so years. I think the food of Sonic is slightly better than Dairy Queen. I think Dairy Queen's ice cream is slightly better than Sonic. But both the restaurants are known more for their treats than their food, so I have to give it to Dairy Queen. I agree with that. Yes. I agree with that. Um, oh, now. also, the cher the, the strawberry limeades, I guess the cherry limeades too, but the strawberry limeades and Sonic are, like, actually to die for. I love mm. them so much. I don't even know. I don't what even a know. surprise that Amy Rose user prefers Sonic. <laughs> what, am I, what am I banning Mordeon for? Mordeon, how do you hate mint? Look, I'm not gonna lie. Young me despised the taste of mint. I I hated it with a passion. I love the taste of mint now. I hated it when I was younger. I love it now. I would devour anything that tastes like mint now. Mordion. You're clown. You're cl clown. Clown. But. <laughs> Bye, Greg. Oh, hi, Greg. Hi, Greg. Bye, Greg. Well, why does that say so? Under being attacked with a knife. I don't imagine she'd been doing much of anything. So the question becomes, why did the victim have that book in her hand? Bye. Bye, Jingo. Jingo was his name. Oh. Ah, I think I'm beginning to see what may have happened now. Oh, dearie me. Oh, she didn't actually, she didn't actually slap her face that time. <laughs> You've just gotten so accustomed to slapping your face. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> or slapping other people's faces. Did that come through at all? Yeah. Okay, thanks. <laughs> I pained myself for that. And we know that the book fell from the top floor of the Garadip household onto the pavement below. In precisely the moment that the victim was walking past. Yes, exactly that moment. The young woman was walking along the street in the light fog. When all of a sudden, a book fell right, right in front of her. The book I threw. Yes, Mrs. Garadep. And what do you think the woman did? What would you do if you were walking along and suddenly a book landed in front of you on the pavement? Piss myself in <laughs> scaredness. Oh my god! I'm deadly terrified of books! <laughs> well, uh, I really can't imagine, but I suppose I would, uh, I would, I would, I would piss myself. By Joan! <laughs> That's what you've been putting in the tea! Yes, yes, now you finally noticed. <laughs> and as you just have Grandpa Obama. Oh, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> oh shit, a book. <laughs> <laughs> she she might have reached down. Oh, look at that haunched back, though. That definitely is a haunched back, okay? <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> Where they picked up the book up? Where is her torso? Right, um, right, uh, the entire thing. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, that is that is exactly what the woman, in fact, did. She picked up the book. Oh heavens! And, wo and when the woman reached down to pick the fallen book up, what position would her back have been in? I swear the submissive and breathable uh, <laughs> position.
Yes. Huh. Yeah. I mean, that's right. Facing the sky completely and utterly defenseless. And breedable. I moved Doof down to the Shadow Realm. She she needs a timeout corner for the next 30 seconds just to think about what she's done. Just to just to think about the actions. <laughs> Have you thought about what you've done, Doof? 30 seconds though. Someone have a timer. Can someone get me a timer? We're just going to sit here. We're, we're just going to wait. You know, I, I really, you know, Verve is really the saint here in this call. And he's not even in the call. You know? Now, sure, the mod log says differently. What do you want, dude? What? What do you want? What do you mean what I want? What do you want? I, I need another story. Something to get off my chest. Yeah. I'm sorry. Clipped <laughs> it. Oh my god. <laughs> Show the DM I sent? No. <laughs> no. I just saw that DM. No. What do you mean? It's not that bad. I swear to god. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Uh... <laughs> I gotta name this image file like or so. <laughs> it's, gonna be, it's gonna be really weird to look at in a week, and I'm like, what the hell is this from? Uh, where did that save? Uh, there it is. In uh, in Doof's words, the circled area is her torso. Thanks, do. You're welcome. I told you, it's the whole thing, basically. <laughs> huh. This poor case. Then, in the very next moment, while the woman was still bent over, pick was still bent over picking up the book. Don't. Don't. What? Don't what? say a goddamn word, dude. <laughs> oh, I wasn't going to, but now that you mentioned it. <laughs> yeah, now that I mention it. Um, I will say that she still looks like an olive. Oh, that's nice. Er. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> the next object fell from the room above. The jackknife straight into the middle of her back. And at that same time, walking by chance directly behind Miss Green was the defendant, Mr. Suzuki Natsume. Well, I never! It appeared to Mr. Natsume that the woman simply collapsed on the floor in the dark and the fog. He didn't see the knife falling on her from above. Ah! Ah! And from the other direction... The constable and his wife saw no one but the victim and her apparent attacker. So there never was a real culprit to run from the scene in the first place. No, this was nothing more than a series of unlikely events that culminated in an unfortunate accident. A billion to one. And that is the real truth behind this case. Golly, Joan, you killed a man. Oh, no. Well, Mr. and Mrs. Garadeb. Hmm. The very first time you showed me the knife, I... 
I have my suspicions, but I, I, I still lied about it because that's the kind of person I am. I wonder if perhaps it might have been something like that. Yeah, yeah. There, there, old bean. Poor I'm younger than you. <laughs> Poor Mrs. Garadeb. But I'm not too young. We're like in our thirties. We're like in our thirties, Joan and John. I'm not too young to make love in this cold room. We're in our thirties, John. Yeah, go, go check, go, go check. We're thirty something. Both of us. Can can we it's see true. that in the court record? Yeah, I don't know. I think so. Oh, we can. Go to, yeah, we do yeah press C. Forty-six and okay. thirty-eight. You're right. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> they both look at me like they're sixties or seventies, so <laughs> You're gonna tell me you're gonna tell me that Patricia <laughs> Beat is seventeen years younger than Joan Garretab. <laughs> you're gonna tell me that. <laughs> yep, only seventeen. <laughs> Are you telling me that Patricia is only eleven years older than Iris? I, 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 I... Or only five years older than Suzano. You're gonna tell me Herlock Sholmes is four years younger than Joan <laughs> Garadeff? Yes. <laughs> You're gonna tell me Van Zykes is younger than the, than the both of them? <laughs> how, wait, how, how old is Olive Green? Uh, question mark, question mark. Oh, okay, fair enough. Huh. We learned a lot today. Huh. Of course, I've never meant for anything of the sort to happen, but... I'm excited to find, to remember that Gina is, like, underage, but actually she's, like, 50. <laughs> it was all my fault, wasn't it? I take full responsibility. As the ultimate maid, I let my anger get the better of me. I threw that book. And we all know what happens to the ultimate maid. <laughs> Spoilers? <laughs> we all know. And I threw the knife as well. Hmm. John, dear, let's make love. <laughs> it's all right. I know. I want your milk. Not the Aww. not the beets. We have a lot of milk to give. <laughs> I'm I'm ever so sorry. <laughs> Truly. I'm sorry! Oh my god, my ears. <laughs> Aww. John, she's 38. John, what are you doing? <laughs> John! <laughs> John, what'd you do? Bruce Fairplay still has not stared at anything happening. Lord Van Zykes, what news from Mrs. Garadeb? She's been taken to the infirmary. It would appear that today's events had left her in an especially flustered state. However, I believe she will recover in due course. There is no cause for concern. Yes, unbeknownst to themselves, they caused what could have easily been a terrible tragedy. They shall have to prepare themselves for the consequences of their actions. There is some good news, however, my lord. I have just had word from the hospital where the victim is being treated. Her condition is improving steadily, and the doctor believes she will regain consciousness soon. It's strange. We've been talking about the victim all this time, but we've never once met her. How wonderful. The woman is out of danger, it seems. Yes, that is good news. So, Mrs. Sozik, Mr. Sozik, you know what's Oh, that's me. Hello. Oh my, what's going on? Uh, huh? Ah, uh, oh, yes. On behalf of my fellow countrymen, I would like to take this opportunity to beg your pardon, sir. You came from your distant eastern homeland to study our great British culture. I have been repaid with immeasurable unkindness. Please accept our heartfelt apologies. Hmm. No, it is me. Who should be begging your pardon? Oh no, Mr. Natsume. 
that evening when the young woman just collapsed on the pavement before my eyes. I, I jumped to the wrong conclusion again in my confusion. What conclusion, sir? I was sure that the woman who, I, I was sure that the woman was dead. Yes, Constable Beat said the same thing, didn't he? He thought she had been killed too. I suppose she must have looked completely lifeless. It's been about a year since I arrived in Great Britain now, but I still can't get used to life here. I, I can't relax. I'm sure there are evil spirits lurking in the fog, like they're haunting me. Do you... Did they haunt you to death? Do you mean... Haunted the Pokemon? Do you mean... That's... That spooky ghost? Uh... Craigston's my favorite racist go. <laughs> poor Zuziki-san. His imagination really has got the better of him. Yes, poor man. So when it happened, I thought the young woman had been taken by the fox spirits. I should never have dropped my books like that and run away. I should have called for help for a doctor for the police. Instead, I managed to create a rift and a relationship of trust between our two empires. And for that, I am truly sorry. Sa. They put Jean in the, in the juror stand. <laughs> huh. Huh. Not partial at all. Huh. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. Ha huh. ha. Pow pow. Aww. Pow pow. One could indeed say that some sort of mischievous spirit has been a work here, I think. One who created a chain of unfortunate mishaps. Never be fooled by the spirit, and led to false conclusions. But thanks to Lord Van Sykes, our young lawyer here from the East, that chain has now been broken, and the spirit exercised. I heartily commend you both. Oh. Hmm. Well then, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Yes, my lord. He still hasn't looked at any of us. In concluding this trial, I must ask one last time for your decisions regarding the defendant's culpability. Are you ready to present your findings to the court? As the foreman of this jury, I can assure you we've reached a fair and just conclusion as Mr. Fairbanks. Oh my god, Burr. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. I'm surprised that it took you that long to come up with that one. I need to know how many he's come up with this stream. I do declare the truth can be extremely cruel at times. Well, I didn't suspect the woman next to me, that's for sure. Sitting in for the old bean while she's out of action, you know, but I know what her decision would be. Guilty. Doesn't mean, doesn't mean I'll finally be able to get out of here and start work. It's about time. Oh, I'll say, uh, I'll have a core kind of a story to tell the grandchildren, uh, when I get home, won't I? When did Obama turn into Garfield? Oh, I tried to do Luigi. Oh! <laughs> and Luigi and Obama, oh. but I'm not, I'm not good at accents, okay? <laughs> Thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. Very well. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I hereby demand your final decisions. Mr. Foreman! <gasps> Wait, what's <gasps> <It's> not the... <laughs> <gasps> Mr. Garrett's voice is totally different from the one I gave know. Him. <laughs> now guilty. <laughs> Very well, Mr. Suzuki, no, Mr. Suzuki Natsume, I hereby pronounce you not guilty. 
clap, 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 clap. Clap, 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 clap. Oh, what is the what's what's the what's the thing from Jimmy Neutron? Slap, what? Slap, 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 clap, clap. clap oh, slap, oh slap, my slap, God! Slap, I know what you're talking clap, about. Clap. I don't. Who who says that? It was like uh, was his name Bobby. 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 Oh Bobby. yeah. <laughs> you know, if you think about it, Bobby is kind of kind of like a racist character. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But we laughed at it so hard back then. That's why we loved it. <laughs> and slap, slap, slap. Oh my god. <laughs> and, and finally, Mr. Natsume. Oh, yes, Lord, sir. You are now a free man once more. It is my hope that you will continue to further your education in British culture. And may you never again be brought before me. Oh, oh yes, sir. Of course. On my life. I swear I'll never set foot in a courtroom again. I'm transported to tears. Thank you, consuls. Court is adjourned. Man, that's the first trial where I've never had to pull something out of my pocket. It's huh. crazy. Cool. I'm excited for Natsume to burn inside an omnibus. 20th um, February. No bus. Oh um, no bus. Oh um, no bus. Oh um, no bus. Come on, Reaper. <laughs> oh, locum. Wait, you you mean me? Of course. Is there another locum here? Is what there even, even is one? a locum? Um. Guess we're gonna have to search it. Let's Google it. Um, a loco tennis in med medical practice that doesn't help me. A temporary place occupied oh. by a locum tennis. <laughs> Someone it's, who it's, substitutes temporarily for another member of the same profession. Oh God! <laughs> it's a it's a British term, I guess. That's why I don't uh, know it. I I makes sense. Yeah. Checks out. That's why I don't know it. Is there even one? Compared to the original locum student, Mr. Nahudo Esquire, your name has become rather short, hasn't it? What's wrong with using my actual name? Oh, oh, at last. I'm free. I'm free. Joyful, joyous, jubilant, jubilation. Heady, hearty, happiness, hurrah. Oh, I am pleased. Mr. Natsume is delighted. Would it be so hard just to say that then? Locum, you did it. You saved me from the brink. Well, what happened to the poor woman? Who was in no way your fault after all? I'm just... Oh, that's sorry. That's Rinosuke, not... Not Jaeger. I'm just glad everyone can see that now. No, no, no. Not that. Lovely, loyal, locum, lawyer. Um... Yes? I mean, as I said before... I have just never got used to life here in Great Britain. Every time I look over my shoulder, I see foreigners. I see towering brick buildings. And from high up windows, I see them looking down on me, laughing. Look at that little hunchback. There's so much hunching in this case. Oh dear, I'm sure it's all in your head, Mr. Natsume. But today, you, locum lawyer, gave my gloom the boot. You stood firm behind that baronial bench before all those babbling British. You battled to the bitter end, laying bare the baffling truth. God, this guy loves his boss. And when I beheld the blinding fireworks among the beams of the Bailey's roof, I bellowed. Behold, the best burster ever born. Well, it's very flattering, and we're very pleased for you. This has given me a wonderful antidote to recount on my old friends back in Japan. An, an antidote? Is that what's to become of all my hard work? I... D uh... Ah, there you are, my dear fellows. By God! He my God! He talks! I apologize for keeping you waiting. I rose late this morning. Oh, Mr. Sholmes, what a pleasure to see you. I see. I am here not a moment too soon. Disaster has been averted. I'm glad to say. <laughs> so <host. laughs> Oh. 
The trial shall begin presently, Mr. Naruto, and I wish you the very best of luck. It's just finished. What? No. Then my haste was in vain? Ah! It's... it's... you! Herlock Sholmes! Oh? Have we met, sir? Um, this is Mr. Natsume, the man you had arrested, Mr. Sholmes. Ah, I see. I failed to recognize you at first. Our previous encounters have taken place in the Galoo, either of your bleak lodgings or that prison cell. I simply couldn't place that curious face in the light. Charming. This is all your fault, Herlock Sholmes. You're the reason I had to go through this terrible ordeal. I'm, I'm going to give you a piece of my mind. My apologies, sir, but I assure you, I have placed you, placed you now. You're the fellow who abandoned that poor young lady and ran off, are you not? That's not any better, Sholmes. Ah. Uh. <laughs> had she been taken to, had she been taken to hospital more urgently? I feel perhaps she would have regained consciousness by now. Oh. But it was unavoidable, I'm sure. We are but human, after all. Anyone would have been shaken by such an experience. Oh. I do feel very badly about how I behave. Well, never mind. Now then, what was it that you wanted to say to me, sir? Sa. Sa. <laughs> Sa. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Sa. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Priceless. Oh, I am sorry, really, but that was quite priceless. Poor Sozeki san. Still, on the bright side, you've had an extremely entertaining experience without paying a penny. And it would seem you were not even found guilty. But there is no bright side. Whatever do you mean, Mr. Natsume? Even after this, I'm... I'm still cursed. By the spirits! And... And now by the Raymer! Ah, uh, Lord Van Sykes. I haven't forgotten, you know, what facing that man in court means. Even if you're found out guilty, you're still doomed. It, it will all be all right, Mr. Natsume. Hmm? Hey, Doof. Yeah? Do you want to do Suzato this time? Ah, uh, sure, I guess. Also, Suzaki has the most interesting gums, I've noticed. <laughs> Teeth gums, you know? He, he does! He does, all he right! Does. <laughs> if the Reaper appears trying to make trouble, I'll protect you. With the Suzano takedown! Oh my god! <laughs> with a perfectly executed Suzano takedown! Oh, hold on. Sorry, hold on. Now that, hold on. I'm gonna do something now that I'm upside down. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? Well, you know what I'm doing. I don't know what you're doing. Unless you're gonna turn everything. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> It's upside down! Craig! <laughs> Craig, you're upside down! <laughs> what do you mean I'm upside down? What do you mean? <laughs> Much as I like being turned on my head, a bit of warning might be nice next time, Mrs. Otto. I'll try to remember. Oh, now I gotta flip him again! You know what? Fine, <laughs> screw it, screw it, he's staying upside down. <laughs> <laughs> So, Mr. <laughs> so, Mr. Natsume, what do you intend to do now? You mentioned something about recounting your experiences to your friends back in Japan. Yes, I, I intend to return to my homeland soon. Oh, I forgot that I was Suzano already. <laughs> It has already been a year since I arrived here in Great Britain. 
I visited universities, libraries, bookshops. I've been honored with the tutelage of professors. I've learned so much about the wealth of literature here and the city it has shaped. And I've come to realize that it is my calling to sail home and tell my fellow countrymen about sail. it. Sail! <laughs> That's very touching, Mr. Natsume. Well, in perhaps less veiled terms, your wish to withdraw halfway around the world to escape the terror of the Reaper's curse. Yeah, it's, in an omnibus. It's been an omnibus. <laughs> That's not it at all! <laughs> The more I learn of literature, the more this strange feeling claws up my insides. I feel compelled to return to my roots and attempt to pen a work on my own. Yeah, it claws up your insides like an alien. <laughs> you know, if anyone was going to be an alien, it would be Natsume. True. Oh, I see. A work of literature by Suzuki-san could be an interesting read. And what about Miss Sasato and yourself, Mr. Nahuda? Sorry? What about us? Will you return to Japan alongside your mustache compatriot? Why would we? A week has not yet passed since we arrived in London. And only now does it feel as though we have finally found our feet. And you are accommodated in a hotel at present, are you not? That's right, but we need to find lodgings before it bankrupts us. I've calculated we can only for another ten nights before our entire budget is exhausted and then we'll be homeless. <laughs> well then, you could take my lodgings. No, thank you. Oh, the windowless <laughs> room. Yep, no, we're, we'll pass. Ah, <laughs> uh, but what it lacks in windows, we've got a cat. It more than makes up for with a floor, a ceiling, and walls. And sometimes you get this really tall guy. His name is Herlock Sholmes. Sometimes he'll just sit in your room on the books. I guess that's better than a uh, cardboard box. Is it though? Do they, have, do they have cardboard boxes back then? Oh, fuck. We got to, okay, <laughs> we have to search the event, when the invention of cardboard was invented. <laughs> when was cardboard invented? <laughs> The pressing issue, do I know? Um, um, history. The it was first made in France in 1751. Huh? Used as reinforced playing cards. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense yeah. actually. Okay, but okay. What about cardboard box? This these specifically cardboard <laughs> box history. Okay, the first commercial paperboard box is sometimes credited to the firm M. Trevenant and Sons in England in 1817. Cardboard oh. boxes existed! Oh. Woo! <laughs> I hope I hope everyone has enjoyed our history lesson for today. <laughs> <laughs> Great. And of course, I'd be happy to leave behind the accursed evil spirit. Oh my, an evil spirit? Oh yes. It tries to suffocate you while you sleep. It's it's an infallible wake-up call. We'll think about it if that's all right. Perhaps I can offer a more welcome alternative. Would you consider taking lodgings with me? Oh. R really? Well, a vacancy has conveniently presented itself. Though it is up in the attic, I might add. Are you sure it isn't just a storage loft? I spoke with the landlady this very morning on the matter of price, and, it, and Iris is cleaning the room as we speak. Oh. You must come at once. I presume you have no luggage to speak of? Oh, this is simply wonderful! What an honor to be invited to take in lodgings in the great detective's office's attic. <laughs> I'm, I'm too overcome for words. I'm going to cry. So suggesting we look elsewhere is out then. You can always take the, the basement with no windows. And it's settled. It has a cat. 
Iris will prepare a welcome dinner this evening. Aww. And you must come too, Mr. Natsume. I insist. I, I, I don't know what to say, but thank you, and yes. Wonderful. Then I'll go complete the paperwork for your formal release, Mr. Nasame. It shan't take long. Somebody's happy. Locum. I... I knew that you wouldn't let me down. I'm truly delighted to have met you here in London. Likewise, Mr. Natsume. It's been a privilege meeting you too. It's a shame that we're going to have to say goodbye so soon. Well, I've come to realize that I belong in Japan. But Locum, we'll meet again one day. It will be when I'm dead. Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> and hopefully by then, I'll be a successful lawyer. Hopefully by then, I'll be a successful author. Well, my dear fellow, our carriage appears to have arrived. Shall we go, Mr. Naruhudo? Yes, Mr. Sholmes. I have little doubt that Mr. Nesume will be released in time for dinner this evening. And so, with Suzuki-san's innocence successfully established, we rode with Mr. Sholmes to what was to become our new home, 221B Baker Street. Twentieth February, four forty one PM, the attic room. So this is to be our new office, yes. Our office. <laughs> our <laughs> office? Accidental <laughs> communism. I rather like the sound of that. Yeah, I know. Communism is pretty legit. <laughs> Me too. It's simply wonderful, isn't it? I hope you can see this, Kazuma. It's only a small step. But I like to think we're getting a little closer to your dream now. Don't let your dreams be memes. <laughs> so, my dear fellows, do you like the place? Ah, oh, Mr. Sholmes. Yes, thank you so much. My god, he looks so dapper. It's a delightful room, Mr. Sholmes. I simply adore it. It's so weird seeing him without a hat. I know, right? It's so I weird. I honestly do not recognize him whenever he doesn't have his get up on. <laughs> Good. I'm pleased to hear it. Iris and I are delighted to welcome you. Also, he has green hair. I hope everyone's hungry. It's nearly time for dinner. We'll eat as soon as Mr. Natsume arrives. We have a lot to celebrate. Iris, you must let me help you. <laughs> Don't! <laughs> All right Shut then. <laughs> All right then, Susie. You can be in charge of the salad. Splendid. So, Mr. Nauhudo, how does it feel to have your own office in the capital? It's very exciting, actually. I can't help wondering what advent what adventures await us. <laughs> Those were precisely my sentiments when I first established my office at these premises. Until I discovered the dark truth about the city of London, that is. Hmm? Sorry? London is a glorious place, full of wonder, opportunity, prosperity, and mirth. But the brightest of lights... ...cast the darkest of shadows. Shadows? What do you mean? Well, I believe you're well aware of the mark murkiness that lies behind London's facade already. Doof, I'm just waiting for you to break into Shadow World. Anytime. 
I'm just waiting, dude. <laughs> My shadow world. <laughs> so, once again, Mr. Naruhudo. Welcome to London. Hmm. Hmm. Of course, at the time, I had no idea of the, of the significance of those words Mr. Sholm so casually spoke. But it wasn't long before my turn came to lift the facade and see the true depth of the murk that lay behind it. And... Ooh. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Pax, but you you're not ready for case five. In London. <laughs> you're not ready for case five. Is case five that that frantic? That all over the place? Um, hey, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see. Why would you do this to me, Doof? <laughs> Saving twice. We can hear you type in. Oh no, a furious type in. So episode five: The Adventure of the Unspeakable Story. The Hounds of the Basker of the Baskervilles. Hey, they said they said the name of the Sherlock's book. They did. I forgot about that. I read that book before. Well, really, this is truly the adventure of Gregson. <laughs> it's a great thing that uh, Sherlock Holmes is. Um... Under um, free use, otherwise this game gets sued as hell. <laughs> leave it to leave it to Capcom to not imagine know. <laughs> what I said. Leave it to Capcom to not know. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe. Hmm. Well, that's that's all the time I have for Great Ace Attorney today, which means we'll we'll kick off Case Five on Friday. I won't be here Friday. Doof! I know. I'm no! sorry. I know. I can be there. Burr! So. Yes! <laughs> but wait. I will be, I'll be able to uh, be part of the chat on stream on Friday for a little bit, but I won't actually be there. Now, here's, I won't be home. Here's my question. Yeah. Is there a character... On Friday. Morion, we should keep it. Morion, we should keep it a secret. Actually, I don't know what you're talking about, Morion. You should DM me it. I, I was gonna ask: is is there a character on Friday that Morion should or could voice? Hmm. 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 I guess we'll find out. You schmuck. <laughs> no. Also, I gotta figure out what voices I might want to voice for case five because if there is a day that i'll be able to because <laughs> i don't I... by golly i know right gonna, i just don't know that, that, i don't know my um it's gonna be my go-to old man voice from now on by golly <laughs> by golly it's a, it's a good voice by golly joan how could you do it? Oh yeah, these two these two uh characters, these are so good. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> Why would you do this to me? Oh my gosh. Well I don't know what to expect. Outside of uh how how on, on a scale of one to ten do and verb. How 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 much am I gonna lose my mind? Um. Well, are we talking about the entire case or just next stream? Let's say both. Um. Well, I guess it's a. I think probably tomorrow or no, next stream will probably be maybe like. A five out of ten in the whole street, a whole case would probably be eight out of ten. Damn. But but this case five has no does not even touch how much you'll lose your mind on the case five of next game. Oh my god! Why? You're, 
because uh next game's case five is like a 12 out of 10. jesus christ yeah i know <laughs> well, we're talking about last case of trials and tribulations levels that's i do if i've said it before that's saying something it is saying something and i'm gonna I'm, i stand by it damn do <laughs> well all right i'll take your word for it uh, also, I'm going to be in, in voice chat in the PAX server to do a reaction, a group reaction to the direct. Oh, I'm so upset I can't be there for the direct. I'm so upset, too. I'm so upset. But I am I am going to stay off the internet tonight, and I'm going to watch it blind tomorrow Oh, my morning. gosh. Like you I, are a like, mad. Like I did for that one direct with the, with the Mario movie cast. You're so mad. <laughs> I got to do it. I gotta know, and that way I can be disappointed in the morning. Okay, that means no one, no one pinged or DM packs about everything. We gotta make him blind, okay? I, I will go as far as I will stay off of Discord the entire night. <laughs> I will, I will go, I will quit Discord. Oh wow! I'm going that far. So you know, if you want to spend the entire night just shit talking me, you can do that. <laughs> yeah so i'm probably gonna get supper and then i'm gonna probably be in the hangout spot until the direct starts right. so if anyone wants to join me um you can be there too go join do join a... me join me there's room for more I'm gonna fucking choke that cat <laughs> is I... medigan still be working during then i think he will be it's yeah. kind of sad so that's in an hour 25 hour 25 hour 20... Hour 25, yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry, Geeky. It's going to be so painful just to stay off Twitter. Okay, what what's your predictions, though, Pax? Oh, I forgot about the mod logs. I'll, I'll copy-paste the mod logs in a bit. Uh, <laughs> I'll do it after sometime after the stream because i got to get going really soon. But, um, obviously, Kirby... Obviously, um, I, I feel like we'll get something Splatoon 3. Something, advan are, something Advance Wars. These are very safe predictions. <laughs> I think I think we're going to get a new Fire Emblem. Ooh, okay. I don't, I, that's, a, that's a spicy prediction. I don't know if it's a, if it'll be a brand new Fire Emblem or if it's a remake. Okay. If it's okay. if it's gonna be either, I'll say it'll be a remake. Can, can we get a remake of Geo Geology? I think Genealogy is the most likely. I think if there's going to be a, just a new something Fire Emblem, it's it's a it's a remake of Genealogy. And then and then, I think Mother Three will be announced. <laughs> Mother Three. HD Deluxe in the style of Link's Awakening. I think they're finally. DX. I think they're finally going to release Earthbound 64 on NSO. Oh my god! Just imagine. Can, I, I think everyone will lose their fucking shit. <laughs> like you'll have people like just like screaming at the top of the lungs, positively. <laughs> Chugga Conroy tweeted the other day. That he had a dream about Earthbound 64 just casually dropping. I, I, I saw that. Yeah. I saw that. <laughs> so, you know, just saying. Um, After that, I I genuinely, I don't know. I'm just hoping for more Mario Party content. I, myself. I, do, I do also hope Mario Party gets DLC. Like, Can I get I, free I, DLC? <laughs> If they put out like if they put out a map and like I don't know five to ten mini games and sold it for like seven dollars, I think that'd be okay. That would be fair. I wouldn't like it, but that would be fair. Um also let me let me count before I forget. Two, three, four, five. 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, Jesus Christ, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh my gosh. 
counting the uh counting the get a room you two name change verv changed his name a whopping 29 times <laughs> during the stream oh it's a it's a prime number 29 <laughs> <laughs> hey do you know what's funnier than 29 30 31 <laughs> <laughs> Not do it 40 more times. Oh my god. <laughs> Salisbury steak. Salami. Sada can. I hate this so much. Ah, our bark. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, that's all I've got today. I gotta, I gotta head off and, and get some food also. Yeah. I can't believe Arbok is not in Pokemon Legends. It's not? My head. Dude, if you just spoiled it. You just spoiled, I'm sorry. you just spoiled everything. I'm not playing Legends uh, anymore. Oh no! Well, I'm sorry. I ruined for everyone. I'm sorry. It's all Dupe's fault. It's okay. My 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 favorite Pokemon's not in it either. We can still make love in the courtroom. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's do it right next to Upside Down Greg's in face. <laughs> Me, 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 me. You know you like it, Gregson. I know what you did last summer. Oh, oh, it's a good book. It's a, it's a decent movie. There was a movie of it. Oh, I didn't know. I just know it's a book. I know what you did last summer. Yeah, it's a whole franchise, dude. Oh, I already know about the book. There's like, I don't even know how many movies there are. There are more than what, what you think. Why? How many? There was, are. Was, was the movie based off the book or? There are three movies. Oh my gosh. 97, 98, and 2006. There's also, as of last year, a TV show. Which I did not know. 2021? <laughs> 2021. Okay, but this was based on that on that one book I read, right? Based on the 1973 novel of the same name. Yeah. Okay, I must have. Okay. I don't. How do you? I just don't know how you would make that into a franchise? Oh question my mark. God. I don't know. All right. Well, I gotta head off. So, do. Yes. Burr. Yes. Thank. What do you mean? Yes to burr. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for hanging out today and playing. And do what do you do? What do you do? Thanks what are you playing. doing? What? 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 What is it? Subscribers. Oh my God, he's an animal. <laughs> it's a perfect thirty now. All right. Until he until he changes his name back to verb, that'll be thirty-one. <laughs> he says my prophecy has come true. <laughs> Bye bye. <laughs> bye guys. Um chat. Nope, I I'm moving the overlay on accident. Um What am I I just want to move stream live. There we go. Um That's all for me today. Uh I will most likely be off the internet all night tonight. Because of the direct. It's gonna be really painful. Um Tomorrow, we'll start Radiant Dawn at 11. Let's aim for 10 o'clock tomorrow for me to watch the direct. That way it gives us enough time for uh, for Radiant Dawn. Uh, and we'll we'll finish the, the, like, normal chapters of Part 4 and then get started on the endgame. I don't know how much of endgame we can do. Uh, we can probably get the first two chapters of Endgame done, at least. Those are probably the, the two longest chapters of Endgame. Um, I refuse, Mordion. Put my foot down. Put my foot down. Um, and then I guess we'll start Case 5 on Friday. Just gonna be a ride, I guess. So, I love you guys. Thanks for hanging out today. Have a great rest of your Wednesday. 
That's all I've got. What do you mean, lame? What? Oh my god, I'm moving the wrong things. I want you guys to know. I just want you guys to know really quick before I leave. Do you know what I still have in my sources for this screen? I just want you guys to know. I am I am especially going to upset Phaser. I still have all these saved. I also still have all the llamas saved. I don't know why, but I do. But when was those from? Uh the the Adelies were from I, Did I have them for dot hack? I know I had the llamas for for Vespi, but I don't remember if I had the Adelies for dot hack or for Vesperia when I had all of those come up. But it's been a while. It's been a long while. I probably should get rid of them. Either way, have a great great rest of your Wednesday. Enjoy the direct. I can only imagine what will happen. I, for one, am excited for Mother 3 to finally come to the States. I mean, of course. Of course. Fucking course.